Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome on in. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Welcome on in, Guinea Prince, Major Gamer Geek, Zombie Paper, That Meister Guy. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. How's everybody doing? Happy Thursday. Welcome, welcome. Maestro Guy, you were the first. Congratulations. Major Gamer Geek number two, Zombie Paper, you were the third. Congratulations. Let's, uh... Get these out of the way. I got some. I got some crunch. Got some oat crunch to do today. For you, Monch, Maestro guy. Hmm. Happy Thursday, GBA day. Yeah. Major gamer geek number two. Two crunch. Kyo, welcome on in. Guinea Prince liar. Never trust them. <laughs> welcome on in, Kyo. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Three crunch for uh, for uh, zombie paper. Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. Let's get some uh, community shoutouts to the fellow streamers in here. Shout out to that maestro guy, who was another streamer who was just playing uh, Super Bomb Bomberman R uh, online online the other day. I can't talk. My bad. Uh, shout out to Zombie Paper. Who uh, does uh, regular regular talk shows? Uh, he did a little talk show today. Sorry, I wasn't able to make it. And of course, the famous Kyo Ryu Hunter he plays a lot of JRPGs anymore. I'm, I catch him every every day. <laughs> so welcome on in, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, so today we're gonna play. We're gonna do something a little different. Now we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play Castlevania: Circle of the Moon. I have it on the Game Boy Advance. I got the official cartridge. Um, but we're the way we're gonna play this today. It's a little a little jank We're gonna play it using a I have this special adapter called the super retro advance adapter It's like this cartridge that plugs into your Super Nintendo in this case. I'm using an analog Super NT um, as like the base and then it, it borrows the power and the uh, the controls from the Super Nintendo and then the vi it has like a video out signal it goes uh, via composite video um, I'm using the retro tank to upscale it to, to my Elgato. So this is a, a very interesting way we're gonna play it um, Nonetheless, we're still capturing it via composite video, so it's gonna look pretty jank But it's okay because we're gonna play Castlevania. It's all good. So that's fine. So we're gonna play that today um, I also changed around a few uh, audio settings in uh, my uh, OBS today. I noticed uh, previously um, My uh, my audio sound sounded very low recently had some feedback from the last stream and I I was going through all my VODs and I, and I discovered that my audio was completely low <laughs> so I went back and I fiddle around the settings so I, we might sound a lot louder than usual today um, I might need some more tweaking going on so uh, bear with me just let you guys know so uh, uh, I'll take I'll take some feedback some some honest feedback some some legit feedback um, also that that audio stuttering issue we had from the last stream uh, at the beginning of the game, when I switch over to the next stream, uh, next scene, I'm just gonna make sure it's not stuttering. I did a recording test before the stream; it shouldn't do that. But I'm going to just check really quick uh, when, when I switch scenes to the game, uh, just to make sure it's not doing it. But um, I think we're good. So yeah, we're gonna play Castlevania: Circle of the Moon uh, since it's Metroidvania week. Uh, we played Strider the other day. Um, we missed Tuesday and, and Wednesday of streaming. But now we're up to Thursday, so we're playing <laughs> Metroidvania week. Yeah, what, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, why don't we uh, why don't we get started? I'm ready. Let's play some Castlevania. Let me let me see if I can time this right. Let me kill the music. Castlevania Symphony of the Night music. Let's let's uh let's give it a go. Ready, set, one, two, three, go. Konami. Konami. K C E K Kobe. I just want to make sure that it's not sounding bad. Let me just check the uh, let me just check the Twitch really quick. Make sure it doesn't sound bad at all. Let's see. Mute desktop audio so you can't hear what I'm about to do. Alright. Hit start. Not stuttering, good shit. Okay, perfect. All right, cool. Um, okay, so now I gotta flip this back to this, and we should be good to go. 
So does this use the uh, the processor of the SNES to get the power for another hardware? Yes. Hey, Armored McCall, welcome on in. Yes, it um all all this is doing like is um it's running off of the actual Super Nintendo like hardware, and uh, I guess on the cartridge it's taking like the the actual Game Boy Advance cartridge data and it's sending it out through like a video signal. Um, it's it's use it's borrowing the in a way I guess you could say it's like borrowing the Super Nintendo heart hardware you're like in the howling hey how you doing uh so yeah that's what that's what it is it's kind of like the um i was I, I mentioned this on my stream the other day it's kind of like the uh the game um play sega genesis on your super nintendo uh it's like that adapter it borrows the snes hardware for a few things like the controls and the power the video and the actual processing comes off the cartridge itself it's it's weird the way it works so yeah Crossroads. Let's do a uh, data select. We're gonna start a new game. New game. I'll be King. Here it is. The best Metroidvania in the franchise. Period. King. Of. Uh, oh crap! I'm gonna get knocked out. All right. Koa. We'll be Koa. Um. Please give me some feedback. Let me know if the game is too loud or I'm too loud. We need some adjusting. Just let me know. This is the first time I'm doing this. Uh, the audio stuttering thing is gone. Thank, sounds great. Awesome. This is great. I, I, I trust that maestro guy. It is 19, 1830 at an old Austrian castle. From the worshippers of chaos rise the plea of the return of the Lord of Darkness. Here we go. Some. There we go. All right, here we go. We crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering, the ruler of darkness. I have awaited for this moment to be awake again, to bask in darkness and feel the moonlight within. Uh, Count Dracula, I am honored to be in your presence. Indeed, though I lack my full power. We are preparing the right to replenish your power. Stop! Morris Baldwin, you cannot be allowed to tr taint the, wo the wound. You. I remember you were the one of the vampire killers that sealed me. You've aged, die, monster. You don't belong in this world. It is our duty to see you banished. Amusing. To use my nemesis life to return my f my power. I have no use for children. Be gone. Here we go. You, Nathan, master, father, Hugh Baldwin. Oh, are we, are we, are they related to Alec Baldwin? And, and, um, who's that other guy? There's Alec Baldwin and, um, the Baldwin brothers. The, the, yeah, Nathan Graves. Hmm, no creatures around here. Hugh, are you okay? Yeah, we were just bruised, brushed aside and ignored. We have to find Master. I'll go. He's my father. Nathan, you'll be in the way. Just get out of here. Okay. Uh, Zombie Paper says, yeah, the audio mixing works well for me, too. Uh, usually the game audio mixing starts by being the game too loud. Seriously, among, a, among the best Metroidvanias, it has one of the aspects that really makes or breaks a product presentation. Oh, nice. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for the feedback. Great. Uh, so let's see. Nathan says, I want to find my mas find master as, mu as much as anybody. Okay, so now we start... And this is cool, because the reason why I'm using this adapter, you could use the Game Boy Advance with the Super Nintendo. Like, that's why I think this controller is awesome. Versus, like, playing on the GameCube, you're stuck with the GameCube controller. Unless you could find that, like, $300 Hori controller that, like, resembles a Super Nintendo controller. This is as close as you're going to get, you know, to a GBA. It's pretty cool. Let's see here. So, I've, I've never touched this before. This is my first time playing this game. I, I might have played this game before on my, my old like Game Boy Advance back in the day. 
um, that had no backlighting. I had to like put a light in front of it just to see what was going on. And the cartridge I had used at the time had a bad battery, so I went out and bought another one. So, I technically have two copies of this game. One of them's like lying around somewhere with a bad battery, which is replaceable. All right, let's see. So we're coming down here. Da -na -na. Oh crap, get back over here. 25. Well, there's something up here. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out how to get over there. So you slide with down and A. Nice. Let's come on over here. There we go. Skeleton bomber. Catacomb. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. Da -na 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 -na. Skeleton bomber. Okay. So I know there's a, I know there's a power up you can get that makes you run faster or makes you do a double jump. Salamander card. DSS attribute and action cards will create a specific effect. These cards, can, these can be set at the menu screen, DSS option. Okay, figure this out. Come on up. And yeah, I think there's a double jump because I can't make it up here. So we gotta figure that out. 66, bonehead. Okay, is this a save point? What is, oh, okay. What is this? So there's a crate here. I assume we have to get something that will break the crate. Do we have anything on us? What's this DSS? Uh, the salamander. Okay, we can't use that yet. Item. Bonehead, hey! <laughs> so much backtracking in this game. Oh, this is gonna be great. A lizard bathed in flames. Embodiment of the, fir the, the, the fire spirit. Salamander has the power of the fire. Hmm. Magic item, don't have that. Config. Okay, so we got the config options. Ooh. All right, back out, back out. It'd be cool if I could use the Y button instead of the B, but that's okay. Da, na, na, 25. I need that. Oh, fuck. Okay, keep going. We're gonna... Poison Worm. Ooh. Just throwing us right into the action here. Da, na, 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 da, da, na, na. Antidote. Bad. Let's jump up here. 12, Bonehead. Oh, this must be our save point. And it refills our health. This is this is a godsend. I remember when we were playing Super Metroid the other week. <laughs> you go to the save point, it doesn't say, it doesn't refill your health. We play the divide, enemies within. You go to the save point, it doesn't work. It's so glorious. Hey Zorak, welcome on in. How you doing, buddy? Playing some GBA for a change. Something we never get to do. I got mountains and mountains, loads of GBA carts, and we're finally playing the best one. Hope you're doing well, Zorak. So let's see here. Skeleton Bomber. Let's see. Break this up. Okay, so okay, so we got the knife. Got the knife. That's that's good. Got the knife. Alright, so back up. Nice. Whack that thing. That thing. There we go. Poison Worm. Take that guy out. Nice. Poison Worm. Poison Worm. Nice. Skeleton Bomber. Let's take this flame out of the way. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Da -na 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 -na. Eleanor seemed to not be doing something. Oh, you guys got another heat wave? Yeah, we got we got a, a, a scorcher today, actually. It was like 100 degrees out. Um, actually, like, right before I started my stream, I had to turn up my air conditioner. That's how bad it was. Probably hear it worrying in the background right now. Level up! Nice, we killed him. Ugh. Okay, something tells me I should probably go back towards that save point and save, but this guy's probably gonna respawn, right? Yes, that guy respawns, damn it, okay. No, 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 we're going back towards the save point. That was a, that was a piss poor decision I just made. Oh fuck, I'm gonna run out of health. Skeleton bomber. There 
There we go. Poison Worm. Hmm. Poison Worm. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run really quick towards the save point. Where is the save point? Is it up here? No, it was over here. Oh crap! Was it? It was more down over here, I think. If I hit select, where is it? Okay, it's up more. I'm 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 totally going past it completely. So it's up. It's up here. Yep. No, I don't want to save. Actually, I do want to save. No harm in saving. Okay. So, let's come back here. -na 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 -na. This is good music. Oh, crap. Come back here. Oh, crap. You suck. Alright, keep going. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay. So poison worm. Let's go F this guy up again. Level up, you know? Might as well top it off. Top off the experience points. Ah, fuck. Okay, come up here. 14. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Jump over here. Take him out. Got him. Oh, what's that? Magic gauntlet. What does that do? Uh, item. Uh, use? Antidote. Okay, so right arm. Magical gauntlet power lies within the gauntlet. Ooh. Okay, right arm. We equipped it. People can survive. It's the pets and animals. Yeah, I gotta worry about those pets. Keep them out of the, the heat. Get them out of the cars, you know? Okay, so these must be the jumping boots? The dash boots. Double tap forward to perform a dash move. Okay, so now we could run faster by double tapping. This is great. And that's how we can make some jumps. Okay, bad. Can we open this? Skeleton. Okay, zombie. Hey, zombie paper, you're in this game. Poison worm. Some poison worms. Yeah, I used to play this game on my my original Game Boy Advance that had no backlighting at all, and it was terrible. You couldn't see what you were doing. It was really bad, and um, like. Just, like, looking at the amount of detail they put in this game without, like, having backlighting. Like, how... How do they expect us to play Game Boy Advance back in the day? Like, with no backlighting at all. Or any handheld without backlighting. The backlighting solves it, yeah. And if you play, like, the later, um, Castlevanias on the GBA, the, the lighting is a little bit better. Kimmy not uh Kimmy didn't mind the non backlit the, the dark at was atmosphere. Had a lot tilt the game perfectly in the light, yeah. I mean that's the, the same goes with the Wonder Swan. I mean, I'm playing a lot of the, the games on Wonder Swan, it's impossible without light. Neo Geo Pocket Color, you need you need no backlighting. The game gear was like the only handheld I remember back in the day that actually had like backlighting. It was it was great. But it consumed so much power back then, I guess. It drained your your it drained all six of your double A batteries. Link's had backlighting. That's true. It did. It drained the backlighting. Uh, not the it drained the battery. Crazy. How you doing, Reko Gecko? How you doing? Welcome on in. Okay, so is there triangle jumps in this game? Like, nah, there's no triangle jumps in here. That'd be cool if there was triangle jumps in here. Just like, just like Samus, you get. The, that power up. I see you choosing death by playing this game. Oh, so you're not a fan of this game, Retko? Your brother is, though. Received Mercury card. Oh. Let's see. 60. I got the Mercury card. What does the Mercury card do? 
Uh, so card. Mercury, the messenger of the gods, has the potential of strength. So I think what you do is you could com can you combine these cards, Mercury? No, you can't. Wait, how do you item? Use, that's antidote. So I have two magic gauntlets. So wait a minute, hold on. Um, item. All right, so we got two magic gauntlets, magic item. Dash booth we have enabled. So, okay, so you got to do something with the cards, I think, to make the DSS system work, I think. That, like, improves your attack, if I remember correctly. So we'll figure that out when we get, get later in the game. We'll see what each move does. Da -na 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 -na. Skeleton Bomber. That's funny. So um, the guy that made this game, Koji Igarashi, I met him in real life, in, in person. He's such a... He's such an awesome guy in general. He's very, he's very tall. He, he's taller than me. I, and he always wears that cowboy hat. Now nah, this game's great, but the difficulty spikes mad later down the game. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be seeing that very soon. We're adjacent to celebrity right now, yeah. Now nah, it was awesome. It, it was at New York Comic Con. It was sort of like a last minute thing. I didn't expect him to, like, none of my friends went, that went to Comic-Con with me expected him to be there. It was, like, they announced it the day before. It was Comic-Con 2017. Um, he just announced that he was going to be there, like, the day before. Hey, surprise, we have a surprise guest. Going to be there all four days. Koji Igarashi, Iga's going to be there. Get your autograph. So, that was, like, like literally the first thing we we visited was the um the 505 games booth which was he was showing off they were showing off the bloodstain game ritual of the night and he was there for autographs and there was the 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 i forgot her name but the chick who did the concept art for the game i think her name was like mana something uh she was there signing autographs so i met them both so it was pretty cool um I got the autograph uh, signed, uh, both for the, the poster. I wish I had it here to show it off, but I think it's in the other room. But I have a picture. I have a pic. I do have a picture of him. Him and I standing uh, next to each other. Figure if we take a break, I'll I'll whip out the photo and show it off. You get to see uh, me without a beard. I didn't have a beard back then. Da -na -na. All right, without the instruction manual, you probably don't know, but select brings up the map. Oh yeah, I knew about the map. I just, I found that by accident. After playing Strider for so long, hitting select to bring up my menu, I'm like, oh, all right, all right I'll just bring up the menu, I hit select. I'm like, no, that brings up the map. But yeah, it was awesome to meet him in person. And then that was the first time I played Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Cause I, um, I was a backer for the, the project on Kickstarter, but I didn't like, I didn't pay in full for the game. I paid like five bucks just so I could get my name mentioned on the on the sh the, the live stream with Ego Raptor and him and the the people from Minty Creates. Um. And uh, yeah, so five dollars you just get you know Ego's et uh, eternal gratitude. That was the reward, like the thank you for supporting. So you don't get the demo or the um. Like all the extras or the game, I had to go out and purchase that separate. So I didn't, I, I, I wasn't able to see what the game looked like until that day, which was really cool. But of course, Leo, later on, they would release the game. Uh, it was summer 2019 they released that game. Time flies. And uh, yeah, cool guy. Um, and you know, the funny thing is, like, every day we went down there uh, to Comic-Con. We, we, were, we were there for two days because getting a four-day pass at Comic-Con is, like, impossible nowadays. I think they stopped it up. You have to buy the day. You got to get the, the passes individually, which kind of suck. So we had, I think it was just, like, Friday and Saturday we went. And uh, my friend who was a diehard Castlevania fan, he looked at, he, 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 he ran out of luck. Because he really wanted to meet Iga so bad. And he found out last minute he was going to be there. He was one of, like, the the major backers of the game. He, he dropped in, like, 
thousands of dollars and he couldn't meet Iga. Like he, I think he went on like eBay to like buy a ticket for Comic-Con and you know, that that's a no, no. You can't do that with that. Like the fan verification, whatnot. So the guy got scammed. Uh, he didn't, he didn't go on eBay. He went on like Ticketmaster or something and he got, he got screwed over. It was, I felt so bad. Well, all he wanted to do was meet Iga and then we were going to try to do like this coordinated effort to like go outside, give him like he was going to meet us outside of Comic Con. We we're going to give him one of the badges and like he couldn't get there in time. And by time we like work something out to get him into the convention hall. Um, I don't know why I'm telling this story, but I feel like saying it. Um, by the time we get, managed to get him into the convention, um, illegally by, uh, by swapping badges, um, he couldn't, he couldn't meet Iga. I felt so bad. Why, why did I just tell that story? <laughs> Oh man, I, I talk too much. I could I could talk about cereal. One minute I could be talking about cereal, and then I'd be talking about every single flavor of Cheerios and fruity pebbles and Fruit Loops and all that fun stuff. And then we could start a ramble about uh, a story about um, we could we could start a story about uh, theme parks. Six, why, why, what what's the best roller coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure? Which uh, everybody knows it's Nitro. Ego watching the vibe with a tear in his eye. It's time to make a fan happy. <laughs> yeah, I felt bad. I I I felt bad. My, my my poor friend. All he wanted to do was meet Ego. He couldn't because because of a stupid New York Comic Con uh rule. You know, can't like share badges or no no. You could share badges, but like it, it was. Bottom line, they should have just, they should have said that he was going to be at the convention. He should have said that we were, he was going to be at the convention. He, it, not like a surprise guest or anything like that. Like, that would have, like, that was a, that was a dick move what they did there. Um, honestly. And then my friend could have met him, you know, like, none of this, oh, yeah, hey, Iga's going to be there last minute, you know, like, eh. Night show, now El Toro? El Toro? Oh, crap, wait, can I leave? Fuck, I can't... Ah, we gotta fight this thing. Did, did we save? It's a boss fight. Oh, it's a Cere Cerebrus? Cerebrus? Oh, can I... Wait, can I kill you with, like, that? I could just do that. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Ugh. Damn it, I did. I did. All this talk about Igarashi... Announcing his last minute, like, guest appearance at Comic-Con has, has made me not, like, focus on the game here. Okay, we're back. Okay, good, good. All right, got it. Note to self, don't go that way. But yeah, I got Ika's autograph. I was very tempted to get him, getting him to autograph my copy of Dracula X for the Sega Saturn. I was going to do it, too. But then I heard that, like, that was his, like, least favorite version of the game. So I, I immediately backed out on it. And, it, like, he had no involvement over that port. So I didn't do that. And I, I would have, like, brought in my, like, other copy of Symphony of the Night. And I couldn't do that. Mind scan. Well, come on in. How you doing? Doggo food. Yeah. Doggo food. Bonehead. El Toro is the best coaster. But, you know, I, I think Nitro is the best coaster there. You get the most thrill out of it. Um, I think I came this way already. Yeah, that goes... No way, I didn't go this way. Once Montana coming back? Mon oh, yeah. So, yeah, guys, I got a, I got an announcement to make. Uh, Montana's coming home tomorrow. We're going to get him for a week and a half. It's going to be great. I haven't seen him since April 28th. I haven't seen him since April 28th. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to... You know, you know when like um, people make viral videos of like like their their dads coming home from like like the army or something like that, and then you, you give them a hug. I'm gonna I'm gonna film them coming home with my new my new DSLR camera, and uh, we're gonna get his reaction. It's gonna be sweet, doggo, doggo. 
it'd be like that time. Uh, it'd be like the um, the close it my my uh, my raid outro video I play at the end of the stream. It'll probably be like a new uh, video. It'd be like him knocking over the camera and giving me a hug. <laughs> I actually, actually, that's what I did. Like one day, like I haven't seen him in like a month. I, I whipped out my phone and I filmed him coming over, like you know, coming scratching at the door coming inside and like where where is he where is he and then like here i am what kind of dslr do i have i have a sony a6000 camera i i'm i'm capturing by a, a elgato cam link 4k it's a little it's like a U, little tiny like usb dumb drive it looks like but it's it's pretty nifty i like it is that what i use for streaming yes use it for streaming um originally i used the i used the um logitech c922 but I wanted to get better quality out of it, so I went in ahead and I invested in one of these uh, DSLRs because I see that a lot of other streamers are do are doing it, and I want to be I want to be a part of the cool kids club. So I went I went ahead and did it. But no, the real reason why I did it is because I need a new camera because I want to like um, I want to film I want to film videos um, for YouTube because I have a YouTube channel. I wanted to like start up like a channel on YouTube reviewing like all my Saturn collection and stuff in addition to like having a Twitch channel like I have right now. And Padoka, welcome on in. How you doing? So I went and invested one of these cameras, so it's good. So. Da, na, na, na. You have a Panasonic Luminex. Okay, Luminex, I heard it was really good. My friend actually has that camera. That, you get some really good quality out of it. I wasn't sure if people use the capture capture for streaming. I think you know some people use the Lumix, uh, Lumix, Lumix. I, I'm gonna call it Luminix. It's a Lumix. Love this game. One of your favorites. Nice. Yeah, it, it's it's funny. We're actually playing this game with a composite video device, upscaled to HDMI by using the uh, the Retro Tink 2X. I gotta say the quality isn't that bad, except that there's it, 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 there's no sharpening. It's it appears, and it, it, obviously we're playing something that is meant for composite video, but it, it doesn't look half it, it doesn't look that bad at all. Looks pretty decent, I think. I mean, it could look better. You know, I have invested in a panis in, in a an analog pocket, and uh, yeah, Square Vision, yeah. Um. I, I did want the analog pocket to come out. It was supposed to come out this summer, but it got delayed to October. It's probably going to get pushed back further. I, I almost guarantee that's what's going to happen. Okay, let's fight this boss. Yo, Gunstar Heroes, welcome on in, buddy. Welcome on in, welcome on in. Let me give you a shout out. Let me get some, I got some, got some more streamers in here. Shout out to Gunstar Heroes. Shout out to Padoka Gaming. Just call him Padoka. Give you another shout out. There's a there's a there's a pad oka gaming. There you go. And we'll give a shout out. Okay, okay, Maestro, can you give a shout out to Mindscan? You're actually here today? Okay. Give give a shout out to Mindscan as well. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And give a shout out to um Jeff Bezos. Give a shout out to Jeff Bezos. Here we go. Blego P, give a shout out to Blego P as well. Blego P, I'm. I hope I'm saying that name right. Give him a shout out. Give give Blego P. Welcome on in, Ble. How you doing? I know I'm saying your name wrong. I I always say everybody's name wrong in chat. I apologize. Okay, so antidote mine. Okay, so the mine restore will give us our health back. So hold on. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing that, Meister guy. I appreciate it. Okay, hold down. Okay, so I think I'm better off just like whipping that guy, not like doing like a circle whip, like a brandish whip. Have you gotten the DS light? I'll put my. No, I don't. I don't even have a DS light yet. Ooh, there's electricity. Three, three. I'm just gonna use all these. I'm better off just using all of them. All right, he's gonna go out of way. Yep, he does that thing there. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, I could get behind him and hit him. Nice. And I could slide. Look at that. I didn't even know I could do that. 
I could slide and hit him. Okay. All right, he's gonna wolf. He's gonna wolf. He's gonna slide out of here, right? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, stay back here. He's gonna come out through there. Slide, slide, slide. Okay, right here. 16, 16, 16. Oh, fuck. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's refill our health. Item. Use. Mind restore. Here we go. Wait. Wait, what do you mean I can't use that? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm doing this all wrong, aren't I? You can't just use that. How do you... Oh, wait. I gotta... Wait. Why? I, I have no healing pots. What? You need a healing... Oh, God. This, is, this isn't good. This is not good. I don't have any healing power. I'm just gonna stand back here and hit him from over here. I'm just gonna hit him and go. He turns right. He's gonna jump across. Yes, he's gonna jump across. Yep. Slide right here. Slide right there. 16. 16. Did we get him? Wait. Fuck you. 16. We're gonna die, aren't we? Fuck. Oh, crap. Turns red. Jump out. There you go. Slide, slide. Come on, just die already. Hang on, sit back. No! Why'd I do that? No shops, all drops. Damn it. Doggo food 2.0. Alright, I'll try this again. <sighs> okay, look at my thing here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go at it. I'm just gonna go at it right here. I think we could do this. We we almost had him. We almost had him. Level up. Okay, level up. I'll do the level up. No pots. Yo, six string, welcome on in, buddy. How you doing? Good to see you. You remember the five D's of dodgeball? <laughs> that that explains it. Okay, so let's go this way. Doing well? Awesome, that's good to hear. Have a yeah, you believe that tomorrow's already gonna be Friday? I can't believe it. Tomorrow's already gonna be Friday. I'm excited for Friday. Music on this game's amazing. Yeah, this music's awesome. I love it. Get the heart power up here. Week went by really. F yeah, it did. It's crazy. The summer is flying by really quick. Soon it'll be August. Soon it'll be my birthday, August fourth. I got to do something special for it. I might have. I might. I'm probably. I'm probably gonna have like a birthday countdown stream. I did that last year. That was fun. September 4th. I'm August 4th. We're both 4ths. This is good. Don't drop that curses on us. Oh shit. Still June? It's still. No, it's July. It's July. It's July. Okay, maybe it's June for you. Fleeman, Hopper. Huh. Yeah. What is that? Cotton clothes. Oh, snap. That's what the magic gauntlet thing does. It, okay. Thought it was May. I thought it was... I thought it was July. I thought it was May as well. Okay, so I've been doing this whole thing wrong. This whole entire... Okay, we gotta kill that boss with this thing. The magic gauntlet. Yeah, Eleanor. That's what we gotta do. Ele that's what Eleanor does. That just gives us, like... a. Yep. I forgot about this power up here. Come up here. Slide, 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 slide. DSS card. I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing this whole thing wrong too. Okay, no, no, no. The D okay, so it was the DSS then. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, come back here. He's gonna turn red and what is he doing? 18, jump over here. Game on GBA looks great, yeah. It does. Okay, come back here. So that uses up MP, I'm noticing. Shoot him from a distance, just like that. 
Okay, it's gonna turn red, and it's gonna jump across, slide. 18, 18, 18. Fuck you! Almost had it. it. Was a launch title. Okay. I know what to do. I know what to do now. I'm I'm gonna go back and do this. Level up, nice. Okay. -na 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 -na. I know how to fight this boss now. I should I just should just use the DSS card thingy. Skeleton bomber, come down. Dun, dun, dun. Leather armor. All right, so let's start. What is leather? Can I use the leather armor? Yeah. Defense increase. Doggo food 3.0. Soon it'll be doggo food 300.10. Okay, here we go. 37. Up. Oh, come back here. Heart in there? Yes. Okay. No hand holding this game. You need to get good. The game can't spam items yeah gotta get good i think i had the strategy down there i just have to like learn how to be careful like you could go behind him and, and like do some damage there when he when he turns red but then he's gonna jump down so i think right before i do that I should like slide out of the way so i'm gonna do that can't go this way you got yeah yeah maestro please do no, no spoilers, guys. We have a no back. I have a strict no back seating rule for this game because I've never played this game before. Super Metroid. I did. I played it before. Little reminders here and there that made sense, but no, no. Time, time the fuck out of everybody. I think. I think everybody should just be be put in timeout right now. Hundred seconds minimum. I'm just kidding. MP increase. All right. Slide. 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 Ah, fuck. Can make that happen. Okay, let's go. Let's go fuck this guy. Okay, LR. Let's fuck this guy up. 18. 20 apiece. Jump out of the way. There you go. Slide. Alright, stay out of the way. He's gonna jump. Get the MP. Sneak in a whip. Him back. Okay, that worked pretty well. Right, he's gonna come over here and jump. Yep. One, two, three. Slide, slide, slide. Perfect. Nice. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm talking about. All right, he's gonna come back. Ah, slide. Twenty-seven. He's gonna fade out and he's gonna jump across. Slide, slide. One. No. Two. Slide out of the way. I meant to... Th fuck. He's gonna get out of the way. He's gonna jump. Controls in this game are a little weird. 52. He's gonna come out. He's gonna leap at me. Get him over here. Come on. Ah, that was a big leap right there. Resist the doggo. So much doggo action here. Okay, he's gonna turn red. He's gonna jump. Fuck you. One, two, three. Get out. Fuck, get out of the way. Get out of the way. He's gonna fade out and he's gonna come back and he's gonna jump. Oh, let's see. He's gonna turn red and he's gonna come this way. Fuck, that was tricky. One, two, level up. We got him. <laughs> Tell him already you have Montana, the best boy. You don't need this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck him. We killed him. We got it. All right. That was the first boss. We did it. We did it. Okay. What do we got here? Got him's. All right. What happened? Did, wait. He doesn't drop. Wait. He doesn't drop a, like a health recover. S Symphony of the Night did that. Okay. So wait. So if I go through here, what happens now? Do I get like a health recover or something? Double received. So I could do the, another jump can be performed. It was two dogs for the price of one dog, yeah. No health recover on this one. Oh no. Okay, so we gotta find the save point to get health. Uh okay. We can figure this out. Save Symphony of the Night's the first baby Metroid, yeah. 
Uh. Yeah, so the other night, um, I was looking back on my playthrough of Strider for the NES. Um, I was looking at um, a YouTube video of how you're supposed to beat Strider on the NES. And I, I completely did that final boss fight wrong. Like the guy that spin or, spun around and kept stabbing him like upward, there's another way to kill him without doing what I was doing. And I was doing the whole game wrong completely. Um, so I'm debating about going back there and, and trying to beat the, that final boss again. Uh, Cause I can't let, I can't leave that game unfinished. Symphony. Shif symphony, symphony of the night. Seventy. Save here. Okay. The last one you played. Really, baby mode compared to all the Metroidvanias. I say yay to revisiting Strider. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Maybe like sometime next week or something. We'll go back to that game just really quick and just like finish it off. Because I, I I think now it'll it'll be better. Skeleton spear. Okay, so now that I have the double jump, I probably can revisit areas that I couldn't go to before. That's the whole purpose of a, a double jump. This is the whole pur purpose of a Metroidvania. All right, coming down. Okay. Crap. Gremlin. Ah! Gremlins! Okay, I turn off. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I realized I had that turned on for whatever reason. Okay, select. Hmm. There's like this whole other area on the top right I haven't looked at yet, but there's this whole other area on the bottom left I haven't looked at either. Backtrack to save often. Yeah, that's true. Just a tip. Just a tip. That's not that's not a backseat gaming maestro, by the way. That's not that's not backseat gaming. You don't have to time them out. That is one tip. That is a tip that you're gonna get. Alright, perfect. Yeah, I got it. You gotta go back and save. Saving is is fine. All right, we're gonna go down here. Falling down. Ooh, mummy. Fuck. Seventy. There we go, mummy. Sixty-one, sixty-one. There we go, sixty-one. Oh, crap. Fall down. Oh, I got the holy water. Nice. Holy water time. Da -na 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 -na. What's in here? Abyss stairway. Interesting. Okay. Da -da -da. If we fall down. Oh, this takes us down here. Interesting. Stairway. Da -na -na -na. I like this music. This is really good. I get the knife again, but I kind of want the holy water, so we're gonna keep the holy water. All right, let's keep going up. Keep going up. All right, keep going. Thirteen. This game deserves way more, way more praise than it gets. Not enough people praise this game. This, that's odd. Cause it's not big. Wait, people ditch it cause it was not made by Iga. Wait, Iga didn't make this game. I thought Iga made this game. So I must have been, I must have been wrong the whole time. Save point. Nope, Iga didn't make this. He made. I think he made the the later one. Figure it was because it's too difficult. Oh man, I, I've I've steered I've steered people wrong. Then I thought Iga made this game for whatever reason. 
He did. I know he did Lament of Innocence, though. That one I know he, for a fact he did. Come on up. Gremlin. Hey, a 14 year old me sacrificing months of social and school life can beat this. Nobody has an ex excuse. That's true. That's true. There's a lot of games that I, I used to be able to beat with ease when I was little that I can't beat now for some reason. I don't know why or what it is. I don't know why or what it is. Seem I think it has something to do with having more free time on your hands. As an adult, you have less free time on your hands. And you go back and play games like Silver Surfer and uh, Battletoads. You're like, shit, I suck at this game. Why is this? So why is that so? Or Ghosts and Goblins, which I proved everybody wrong of that game. I beat that game the other week. It's awesome. All right. Audience room. What's in the audience room? Lucky I'm playing on the TV. Yeah. Ha I would have had to deal with the uh, the no backlighting issue. I gotta go out and find my old GBA. I think it's in my storage unit somewhere. GBA with no backlighting, dark as fuck. Yep. I know the pain. Level up. He found us, the audience room. Yeah. Okay, let's in here. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm just like wandering aimlessly until I find something. Da -na -na -na. I think this music was used in Castlevania Bloodlines. Oh shit, this is the beginning of the fucking game. Look at that. That just takes you back to the beginning. Game has a weird legacy in the timeline. Originally it said it was non-canon, later in the official timeline, 1830 slot, it's odd, yep. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. Okay, this is fine. We could go back and revisit the areas we couldn't explore. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na. Oh, fuck you, skeleton bomber. All right, let's look for an area we did not, could not go to because we didn't have the dash or we didn't have the, uh, the double jump. This is like Metroid, Super Metroid right now at this point. Okay, so we know about the left and the right. Ega doesn't like this one in Legends. Legends for the Game Boy. Yes, I know Legends. You play as, I think, Sophia or Sonia Belmont in that one. That one's like really hard to find. Like, I think it's like over $100 on eBay or something crazy like that. Turn off my DSS. What's up here? Save point. Save here. All right, what are, what are we missing? Anything in particular? It's a good shame because this game legit blasted so good, yeah. Okay, bottom left we didn't go to, so let's try going in there. Go find stuff. Shit, slide, slide. Wait, no, slide. No, I said slide. What's in here? Ooh, that. Got the machete. Nice. Okay, now we can make we can make it up here because we have the double jump. Ah, keep going. Uh, what's up here? Flea men. The flea men are freaking terrible in this game. Dun, dun, dun. What is that? Oh, can I? Brain flow. Can I jump up there? I think you're supposed to freeze those guys, like in Metroid, to get up there. That's what that is for. Okay, so we got HP max increase. Let's keep going. It's gonna run out of here. Okay, so we need another like power up or something to get through there. That's okay. All right, so go up here, do a quick safety save. So, but don't actually save. Just like get out of here. Oh wait, no, we, we saved. I hit the wrong button. Okay, so hmm. All right, so let's see. 11, 12. Uh, I really want to look for the Castlevania double pack. I think that has like Harmony of Dissoance and Aria of Sorrow. Game Vampire, welcome on in, buddy. How you doing? Wait, am I poisoned? I am poisoned right now. That's why I'm like blinking. Can I use a antidote? Yes. Status good. Perfect. Yo, Doe, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. 
select. All right, so I think we're missing something in here. Still need to figure out a way to break that crate, which we don't have. I think we need like, I think there's like a power up that lets you push crates or something. Obviously that's what you need. Okay, so let's come down here. Play this on a GBA. No, I'm using something called the Super Retro Advance Adapter. It's like this, excuse me. It's like this special cartridge that like, I think Retro Bit put out or something like that. It's out of print now. And um, like, they don't make them anymore. If you go on eBay, look up Super Retro Advance. I think it's like a hundred and something dollars. It's pretty sought after because it's a way to play uh, Game Boy Advance on a console uh, without using like a, like a, like a, like a, like a Game Game Cube uh, Game Boy Player off the GameCube, um, but the only drawback is um, there's actually yeah there's a couple, quite a few drawbacks. One of them is you can only play Game Boy Advance cartridges. Um, the other drawback is you can only out it only outputs to composite AV video, which I'm using an upscaler. What well, console is not? I'm using I'm using this. Uh, you could, you're supposed to plug it into a Super Nintendo, um, but I'm using a analog Super NT as the as the Super Nintendo base. You can really use any console that takes um, Super Nintendo. You can actually run this on the Super Boy if you wanted to. <laughs> Turn your Super Boy into a GBA. That's what you can do, which is very weird. <laughs> um, can I break this with my DSS? Let's try that. That doesn't. That no. That doesn't work. Um, yeah, turn your Super Boy, the, the console, the handheld that plays Super Nintendo cartridges. Actually, no, that doesn't work. Never mind, because then you have to, no, never mind. That won't work, because <laughs> you have to plug in the AB cable. Never mind. Scratch that. My bad. Ooh, Magic Gauntlet. I was going to say, that, that would have been a pretty cool idea. Play Super Nin play Game Boy Advance some wicked idea i just thought of a pretty wicked idea um on the ps everybody i'm sure everybody knows this on the ps1 uh there's an lcd screen that came with it um that takes um composite video input i could plug this into the ps1 and play i could play game boy advance on a ps1 lcd screen which is really silly <laughs> scratch that uh so we'll do item uh, antidote. Get that out of the way. Got a DS Lite mod. If you want to stream DS and GBA more often, it's really cheap. Do you? Have, is there any soldering involved? eBay sell shopping us. Oh, the um, oh the dibs. I was pretty good. Um, there was a lot of N64 and DS games, which I don't really collect, but I was fortunate to pick up uh Puyo Puyo 2 on the Sega Saturn. Something that I'm missing. That's a game, believe it or not, that I am missing. Just like a puzzle game. Um, and I picked up... Um, so I got this PS1 game right here called Overblood 2. It's the Japanese version. I was able to get the European version, which is in English. So when Halloween comes around, we'll play Overblood 2 in English. Yay. I just have to figure out how to play PAL games on my PS1. Plug the mod in the, where the upper screen goes? Oh, interesting. I gotta look into that. I'm gonna look into that. DS, DS mod. Cause the DS, I believe the DS can play GBA games. Only GBA, not Game Boy Color. I believe that's the that's the drawback. Give it a look, yeah, I'll do it. I gotta figure out how to work a soldering iron. I gotta break that fear. Cause they say like, if you, if you solder something wrong, you could break the system, which is true. You could, that's like saying, if you use a screwdriver wrong, you could put a hole in your wall. If you use a, ha a, a hammer wrong, you could poke an eye out, you know? I have to break the fear of, of using a soldering iron. Try it out. It's all about practice, yeah. I think a good way to practice is to replace batteries in, out of a cartridge. 
Um, that's a good way to practice, I think, because I have a ton of like Game Boy cartridges around, floating around. I could just like solder a new battery in and test it out. Hopefully that would work. All right. Uh, now the thing is, I would never, I would never use like a soldering iron to touch like one of my more prized like consoles, like the Sega Saturn. So you don't mess with the microscopic components on the modern stuff, you're fine. Practice on a flat metal surface with the solder. Okay, that's true. My other fear is burning my hand with the soldering iron. Like, I think it's, I think a soldering iron is more hot, is, is, is hotter than like an actual like iron, you use to iron your clothes. So I'm a little concerned about like that too. Changing batteries on carts, good practice, yeah. I see Cody do it all the time, it looks simple. Ooh, I got a heart, hearts increase. So I'll try it. He does it blindfolded. Does it blindfolded. We always say he doesn't do it. And then he does it and I lose points. I lose channel points every time we bet no on that. Because apparently whenever whenever you do a prediction on Twitch for uh, channel points, if you vote no and the prediction is no, it comes out greater for some reason. That's what I found out. Then Cody makes skating simple, run running a store. Stock market, simple, yeah. You lose the fear after you burn your hand so many times. Yeah, the, I'd say the worst burn I ever got. Deep fryer. Spilling hot oil, a uh, little spill of hot oil from a deep fryer from a splatter on your hand. That is a pretty nasty burn. I, w I used to work at a, a, like a snack bar. I worked at a snack bar. And we had a deep fryer. And we used to like make like chicken tenders and like French fries and like really good stuff. Mozzarella, mozzarella sticks, whatever you guys call it. Um, um, and I was in a rush. <laughs> Normally, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the uh, the the cage thingy out of the deep fryer, put the stuff in. So I was like, all right. I was like, chicken fairs. Somebody order chicken fairs. One, two, three, four, five. I put the thing in. Oh, wait. No, no. You got to go back and put another one. Six and then splatter went on my hand. It was the heart. The, it was, it was bad. It was the, I was, I was, it was bad. It like, it like peeled like my skin off my hand. I don't mean to gross anybody out. It peeled the skin off my hand and it was still burning and Water couldn't solve it. it. It was really bad. Was it cryworthy? Um, y yeah. If I wasn't an adult, like a young adult at the time, um, like I am now, I still feel like I'm a young adult still, even though I'm 33 years old. Um, I was like 18. I would say that was cryworthy. Um, <laughs> it was really bad, and. Uh, I didn't have to. I didn't call. We didn't. We didn't call an ambulance or anything like that. We just treated the burn right there and then because we had a first aid kit. Um, it took a good like two months for that shit to heal though, and I think it left a scar. I think it, the scar went away though. It was pretty bad. So, yeah, burns suck. Burns absolutely sucks. Just any kind of burn, rug burn, rope burn, sunburn. Um, apparently you could get burns from sitting down in a beach chair. Don't apply ice. Yep, that's... Yeah, don't apply ice. I know that. Don't put salt over it either. <laughs> don't put ice and salt on your on a wound. That's the worst thing you could ever do. It does. Toothpaste. I heard toothpaste helps. I forgot what we used. We, we, we had stuff from a first aid kit. It worked. It did the trick, um, but it sucked. I think I put aloe on it to, like, help it heal after, like, the aftermath when it was, like, healing. Uh, it was terrible. That was bad. I could only, you could only imagine, like, 
I don't know. There's like this commercial. You guys ever watch like those shocking like PSAs that are on that are on YouTube? There's like this Canadian like ad. Um, <laughs> there's like this Canadian ad. Um, I think it's called like Prevenit.ca. This is where like a girl that's like a, it's like I'm a sous chef. I'm about to be promoted, and uh, I'm gonna get like, you know, I'm about to be in a terrible accident. And she knocks over like a deep fryer uh, liquid on her, and she like burns pretty bad. It's some fucked up PSAs in in Canada. Yeah, yeah. So that was like scary. You could, and I was like, all right. I remember being burned by the deep fryer. I'm like, wow. I could only imagine what that girl went through. That was pretty bad. Yeah, I, I could I could imagine like a lot of hot oil. Like if you spill hot oil, that would be like that would be really bad. Or like, it'd be like that scene from that movie, um, Sleepaway Camp, with the guy, uh, the the killer spilt like that big pot of hot oil, uh, hot water on that guy. That was pretty scary. <laughs> All right, I don't want to talk about burns anymore. That's that's pretty bad. But yeah, burns suck. Fire safety. Um, be careful of that soldering. Don't. What's that? What's that saying? What's that saying? Saying about fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool about fire. Trauma worthy, yeah. But that ad was like, it was like extremely effed up. Effed up PSAs. Yeah, I, I gotta say the PSAs in Canada, Canada aren't as fucked up as like Australia. Like there's like this, there's like this PSA about, um, I want only I like find this shit on YouTube. There's like this PSA of a guy. There's like a pizza guy crossing the street, and a car like straight up hits him. Like it just straight up hits him, and it just looks so like fake and real at the same time. And then it's just basically like let's, they they're like saying slow down, slow down. Don't be a bloody idiot. If you drink and drive, you're a bloody idiot. That's literally what they say. Word for word. Okay, where the hell am I going? If you drink and drive, you're a bloody idiot. And that's all they say. So Canada and Australia, you got the got the effed up PSAs. Alright, where am I going? Am I supposed to go? Yeah, I gotta go straight. Check the map. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go this way. All this talk about burns and PSAs and I mean, I know they had, like, really fucked up PSAs back in the 70s, too. Like, just look it up on YouTube. Scary PSA. There's, like, this one of, like, these kids playing. I think this one came out in the US, UK. Um, these kids are, like, playing in, a, like, a power station. They're, they're playing hide-and-go-seek. And, like, this one kid gets fried by touching, like, a wire or something. It's, like, the most graphic thing ever. We care. G.I. Joe. Get, yeah, G, we got G.I. Joe. We got G.I. Joe. That's all we needed. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. Like, G.I. Joe was, like, the best PSA. <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches. Get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches is probably... Like, I, I know that was, like, a parody. But, like... Hey kid, I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. Inspector Gadget has up. Yeah, Inspector Gadget had PSAs. Sonic says had PSA. <laughs> Sonic Sonic says is like if somebody touches you in your no-no zone, tell a teacher or something. And then we had like we had like Lou Albano telling us not to do drugs. It's like. You do drugs, you're gonna go to hell before you die. <laughs> you wouldn't download a car, would you? I fucking bet I would if I could. <laughs> you wouldn't down you wouldn't down yeah, you wouldn't steal a car, would you? You wouldn't download a car. We could download we could download cars with the 3D printer. That's a good point. Alright, so I guess I'm climbing up here. Yeah, it looks like I'm climbing up here. <laughs> we're going up here. Let's do it. We're climb we're we're climbing up. 
<laughs> you wouldn't download a car. This game looks cool. Yeah, this game is awesome. Hey, Dave. Well, come on in. Glad to have you in. Happy Thursday night going into Friday. Well, yeah. Thursday night, yeah. Still Thursday night. Still Thursday. G.I. Joe was way ahead of its time, yeah. G.I. Joe, Ninja Turtles, um, hmm, wristband, what's the wristband do? Item. Wristband, that gives me cotton armband, let's do that. Leather armor, cotton clothes doesn't do shit. I wonder if there's a place to like sell my items, I got a heart. Skeleton. Climb up here. Gremlin. Skeleton. Yo, Riley, welcome on in. How you doing? First Castlevania Game Boy experience. Yeah, this is the first. This is literally the first Castlevania game I'm playing on GBI right now. I've never like played through this game before. I don't know if there's a place to buy sell them. Uh, I'll find out, Maestro, if there is. There's something in here. Is there a boss in here? Let's find out. Let's find out. There's no... Okay, not. there's nothing in there. All right, good. I know if I climb over here, there's going to be a steep drop. That's almost a fact right there. It's your first GBA game, period. Got to play this, this game again soon? Yeah, this is pretty good. 2001. No shops in this game, all drops. And I said I was going to find out on my own, but that's all right. I'll let it slide. Oh, fuck. No! Shit. Damn it. Okay. Here we go again. All right, we gotta... We, no, no. We're, we're not going through that mess again. We're just gonna... We're gonna do this really quick. Talk about sliding. Sliding. Fun little fact. If you uh, get timed out as a VIP, you lose your VIP status on Twitch. That's a fun little, that's a fun little, that's a fun little fact right there. <laughs> Don't get timed out. No timeouts. No timeies. No timeies outs. We don't want to get time. I want time no VIPs out. We will. We'll do it. We're like, need to remove VIP to be able to time out. Yeah. You'll do it. I can't remember the last time I've been timed out instead of straight up being banned. I've only been timed out like one time legitimately on Twitch for saying something incredibly stupid. Uh, it happened only once. And I remember being timed out for just for fun. That was being, that was it. That was uh, playing uh, time out, time out roulette on Contra's uh, chat. I, I never got timed out on his time out roulette minigame. And uh, the one time I did, I'm like, oh shit, timeout sucks. Like, they like let you really have it. Like, it's like, you've been timed out. You're not allowed to chat for five seconds. And you're like, damn it. Justin timed you out as a joke. Yeah, no, Justin, Justin's cool. You, uh, that was probably not a biggie. One time I got timed out for, for telling somebody how many viewers they had in their chat. Um, which is understandable. I guess some people don't like it if you tell them, hey, you, wow, you got a lot of viewers in your chat, you know, sort of deal. So, and I was told it, 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 that can create anxiety, so that's why they did it. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense. So that was, that was the stupid thing that I did. And it, it literally, it let you, you, you legitimately feel it. I'm like, oh my crap, I did something wrong. I'll, oh man, no, what do I do? And it's like, oh, it's not banned. This is a timeout. 
you get banned, you'll know, you'll, you'll, you'll know. Oh crap, I've been banned. But I just told him I was a Jets fan instead of a, instead of a Giants fan. That got me banned. No, I'm just kidding, never got banned. Don't like knowing how many people are watching me and just block the number. Yeah, I, I turn off my view counter. And if I get a big boy raid, I just be like, all right, I got a big boy raid. Nice. It's awesome. Silly. Sounds like the streamer's doing some shady. They want to hide. Yeah. Everybody's different, I guess. Yeah, I, I just turn, I turn off the number because it's like... If you see, like, like, you could go from, like, 1 to, like, 10 to 20 to 30, maybe 50, and then all of a sudden it goes back to 10, 5. It's kind of depressing. So I just, like, I just, I just turn it off. It's just, that's, that's, that's the truth behind there. And just pretend there's 100 or maybe 5 or 10 or 1. Oh, so we're in, like, a castle now. A humbling experience, yeah. Oh, axe armor, skeleton soldier. I think we're coming across another boss fight. We're in a castle. I mean, what's the name of the series? Oh, yeah, castle. You're in a castle. I mean, there is, I know there is. I know there's some levels in Castlevania that don't actually take place in the castle. Like Castlevania 4, you're like in the garden at one point. Gonna make that a joke? You bit your tongue? Okay, where's the save point? Are we near a save? We're nowhere near a save point, are we? Outer wall? Where's the... Society's a castle. Michael Forkalt? I don't know what that is. I'll have to look at it. Oh, level up. Look at that. Okay. So another thing is when you level up, you don't you don't refill your health. This is this is a legit old school castle video game. Is there a way I could like use like a health refill? Mine restore recovers MP. What does heart do? Recover 10 hearts. Okay. Mm -mm. Health pots. Okay, so I need a health pot. How could I have not have, like, a health pot by now? That's weird. Wall of Wisp. Now that you're 21, you can stand more of a chance. Yeah, you might be able to. Where is the save point? I know I'm talking out loud. It doesn't mean I'm actually like saying, where's the save point? I'll find the save point. I'm just like, talk. sometimes I, I, I think out loud. Where is the save point? Must find a save point. And then you know what's gonna happen? While finding the save point, I'm gonna find a boss and I'm gonna die and I have to do this all over again. That is my luck with these games. My luck of the draw. Game is toughy. King's gonna struggle. Yep. All right. So I think I'm sup I am supposed to move forward, but I'm not going to. I am gonna go find that save point. It's gonna be around here somewhere. I am gonna run into a. I'm definitely gonna run into a boss. I know I am. I don't want to run into the boss. I want to save my game. All right. So let's double tap. Ah, you asshole. No, you a oh, you double asshole. I'm about to fucking die, aren't I? Two bosses in particular, you really want me to face off. Okay, so I can't break this. I'm assuming behind that wall is gonna give me the power up to break that, and I'm probably gonna hit a boss fight. Oh, you a oh no. There we go. Okay, select. All right. 
I think I know what I have to do. I have to fall back down towards that. There's got to be a save point somewhere. Rules of Metroidvania is we're going to run into a save point. I know I am. There's got to be a save point behind one of these walls. No, nope, heart refill. Okay, I think behind there there was. Hmm. All right, just stay there. Come on, stay there. Ah, I keep, I keep missing him. Okay. Here we go. Okay, what's over here? Did we go this? Okay, it looks like there's something over here. I hope it's a save point. What is that? That's not a save point. Ah, oh, crap. No save point. All right. We're running out of health. I need to find a save point pretty fast. Electricity guys here. Nice. All right. If I hit select, I think there's a, there's might be a save point right there. I, I, I think there is. I'm going to. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to go that way. Find out if there is one. I gotta do some major backtracking. Oh, I found one! I found one! Yeah! Look at that. I found the save point. Okay, good. Yeah! Awesome. Now I could I could get killed without like having to repeat anything. Now what was in that room that I like fell down off of? I I have to do like a weird double jump to get over there. Yep, what's in here? What's in here? Oh, is that a pot? Axe armor. What is this? H HP Mac. Okay, that would have increased my health either way, though. That would have been really good to know. You can tell this game's bigger than Symphony of the Night or not. Uh, can't tell, but it's probably 10 hour game minimum for a first time we'll playthrough. Too pro for you? Yeah. Jump, jump. Okay, nice. Let's move forward. The card system yet? Um, I think so. I got two of them. Action attribute. Mercury. What is Mercury? Yeah, that yeah, that's that's the card system, I think. The DSS. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out the card system. I just gotta get more cards, I think. Hit select. What do we got here? Anything So it looks like we're missing something on the bottom left over there. Find more as I continue. Yeah, I agree. Let's let's go to the left here. Let's not fall down this big gap that I'm about to fall down. There's another save point in there. Okay, we were just there. Nice. Tend to call on a 3DS as DSS. <laughs> yeah. From what you've overheard, there's actually some sort of bug in the game where you don't need a specific card for a power-up. Hmm. Hmm up here okay the outer wall we know about that ah fuck it let's look up here let's see if there's any yeah i think we need like a triangle jump or something to get up there and i don't think we have that that would be funny if this game had triangle jumps in it or wall jumps like in super metroid and, and strider That thing. Oh, I found a secret. Look at that. Nice. I was not expecting that, but I found a secret. Parts max increase. I mean, I, I hit that by accident. The, the guy went up there and I whipped to kill him and I broke that. I didn't think I was going to find. Okay, so there are hidden things in the wall. That's good to know. What happens if I go left here? If I open that? Triumph Hallway. Will a wisp.
Oh, wisp. Oh, nice! I just found another secret. I didn't even, I didn't even go that way. Only triumph in this hallway is not dying. HP max increase. Okay. Come on this way. Level up. Nice. Okay. Am I trying to 100% this? No, I'm just trying to beat this game. That's That seems to be the goal of all these Metroidvanias. I, 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 my first try, I'll, I'll, I'll just beat the game. Second attempt, I'll probably do like 100% or 201, whatever the hell it is. Like when, the other day when I, I beat Super Metroid, I went back and I like tried to find everything um, again. Only to find out in Super Metroid, once you get to terrain, you can't go back. So you have to start a new, like, game save. What happens if I level up? I think you just get better at it if you level up. A little wisp. Fuck. Get over here. Wow, this guy's fucking hard to knock down. Stats become a wee bit. Oh, we got the whole. Oh, we got the cross. Now we're playing a castle mini game. Okay, that must be the entrance to the castle. Does not let me go past there. Okay, so this is like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where uh, there's like the curtains and the big windows. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. Will of Wisp. Let's jump out of here. Pass the potion. Just less death it. <laughs> okay, can I open this thing now? I can't open that. Alright, keep going. Alright, so we got the cross. We got the cross. Alright, now where do we go? I guess we could try going bottom right. Ah! All right, so can we go down here? Okay, can we go through this door? It's locked. Okay, so that door is locked. That, I assume that's where the final battle takes place. And we can't go in there until we could go through there. Can we open this door? We can't open this door. Okay, so we can't open that door. That sucks. Death takes your stuff all earlier on. If he did it, the baby mode game would be infant mode. Yes, you could... In, in Symphony of the Night, I always try to glitch the games so that way, like... You know, death doesn't take all your stuff, and then you can equip the shield rod and kick the shit out of that game, because that game is broken. Alright, so if I go this way... Looks like I could go... Oh, wait, you know, I was already here. So I need to open that, like, seal somehow. So, alright, so we're going the wrong way. So I guess we gotta go forward. We were this way. I was this way. That's how I got the cross. All right, so climb up. Uh, what's in here? Go that way. Axe armor. That cross does so much damage. What's up here? Okay, so if I go into this room, this is gonna take me over here. I didn't go this way yet. Oh fuck, I lost the freaking cross somehow, shit. Ah, that's all right. I lost my cross. Okay, we gotta go back. Oh, right. oh that's all right. We gotta, shit. Okay, so we can't break that thing. Uh, we gotta go back and get the cross. Do we have to go back and get the cross? I'm gonna go back and get the cross. Why not? I need a level up anyway. Sorry guys, sorry for the, the lost time. We gotta go get that cross. Like David Cross. Come down, go this way, select. Just go straight out. Back, it's a good weapon. Hey, I'm gonna have to time you out, mister. 
<laughs> can I, wait, can I, can I drop kick in this game, like in Symphony of the Night? No, you can't. That'd be cool if you could drop kick. You might be able to. Select? Yeah, I'm going straight out. All right, come out here. Still shocks me how much they cram onto a GBA cart. You know what's shocking? There's actually like games with FMV on a uh, GBA cart. Like, I think they they made like like Nickelodeon put out like um like a cartridge that had like full episodes of like Spongebob and Nicktoons on there. That's pretty cool. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Uh fuck, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Just to get the cross. Just to get the fucking cross. This is gonna suck. Alright, it's gonna be worth it in the end, guys. Here we go. Can't get killed. I'm just nice and careful. I'm just, I'm just gonna traverse nice and carefully. I'm gonna do this nice and carefully. Nice and carefully. There we go. There we go. Careful here. We got it. We got it. Okay, so now... That did nothing. Alright, we're gonna keep going to the right. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna keep going to the left. Wait, no! Nice, okay. Ni oh, level up, look at that. Okay, level up. We're going straight. All right, don't lose the ax. Careful, don't, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Crinkling man, that was close. No, don't don't die. That's a potion. That's a potion. Potion I just passed up. Mm, I don't need a potion. Oh, nice. Got my whip. All right, need to find save point. We got to go up somehow. Uh, I think we could go this way, right? Yes, we could. No. Ugh, good one. Head select. Uh, we go straight. We gotta go up. Okay, we can't go that way. We have to go up. Nice. Okay. Come straight up here. Right in there. Nice. Okay. We're doing it. Going this way. Okay. There should be a save point coming up. Yes, I gotta go straight. There we go. Go slow. Take him out. Go slow. There we go. Nice. All right, we're gonna we're going nice and careful here. I'm gonna run out of hearts very soon. Uh, I don't want that knife. Okay, we gotta go straight. The clinkling man got me before I know I, I would have died. You would have died. Uh, hang on. Oh, that's that's what you call Rambo style right there. That was clutch. Nice. Okay, cool. Now let's go forward. That was clutch. That was really a close one. That was risking it. That was threading the needle. Okay, now let's go forward. Uh, let's just go up here. <laughs> Flirting with death. Yeah, all right. We're just gonna go forward. Oh, fuck you. Okay. All right. Go that way. Okay. Shit. Okay. I know where we gotta go. We gotta go to the outer wall. Come on. Keep running. Oh, that was clutch. That was clutch. Nice. Okay. 
Guy throwing bombs. Dodge him. There we go. Speedrunner strats. Here we go. Let's go. Speedrunning strats. Let's do it. Speedrunning strats. Let's go. Speedrunner strats. Here we go. Oh, I have no hearts. Shit. I'm gonna get screwed over completely. I should, like, farm for hearts or something. Probably come down here. Farming for hearts! Oh, shit! No, 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 no! We don't want that. Alright, 23. 63. Nice, 76. What's in here? 26. Ooh, what's this? What's this? MP max increase. Okay, looks like we could slide at one point. All right, hit and select. All right, looks like there's like a whole middle area of the map that we're missing. Um, hmm. I guess we'll drop down here to be safe. What's in here? Another save point. Look at that. I'm lucking out here, these saves. Okay. Da -na -na -na. Okay, cross. I'm sticking to the cross. What's down here? Oh, this the bearded men. We got bearded men. Come on, one, two. Card. We got a card. Mandagora Gora card. What's in here? What's the Mandragora card? Back out card. Uh, the Mandragora is represented as a humanoid with roots instead of feet. He has the power of plants. Okay, let's try this out. Alright, let's back out. Come on, back out. One of your favorites? DSS. Six attack. Ooh, nice. Okay. That's cool. Alright, so we got that. Mandagora. Right, let's get out of here. Rose Whip, yeah! Rose Whip. It's the little house of horrors whip. Alright, keep going. Alright, keep going, keep going. Hmm, what's in here? I guess we could keep going down and find out. Alright, hit select. Anything? What's in here? Oh, they respawn, these guys. Oh, headshot. Double headshot. Fuck. Right, have a good night, Dave. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, there's a holy water there. I don't want to get it. We want to stay away from that. Jump, jump. Anything up here? Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Ooh. 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 That was a long fall right there. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yes. We'll have fun. Hmm. We come up here. Keep going. All right, we don't want the axe. What's in here? Hit select. What we got? Um. Okay, it's a couple of drops here. Oh, okay. We can't break that. Can we break that with the whip? The rose whip? No, we can't. Okay. So I guess we have to like fall down. Electricity. Yeah, just fall down. Fall straight down. Uh. Looks like there's like a. There's like. Okay, wait. That looks like a boss fight right there. There is a boss fight coming up. There is a boss fight coming right up. I don't know how hard or easy this boss fight will be. Ooh, I think I know where this is going to take us. 
I think we're gonna get the power to break stone after this boss. Because there's a stone here. Why am I avoiding the drops? Um, Because I already have them. <laughs> it's pointless. 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 All right, so there's a save point right here. Okay, let's go fuck up the boss. Let's use this rose whip on him. All right, coming back. Hmm. Ooh, fuck you. Come back. Go, 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 go. What happens if you go right? Yo, very Tatsu. Thank you for the host. Appreciate it. Welcome on in, very Tatsu. My show, can I get a shout out for very Tatsu? I know I'm saying your name wrong, but I'm just gonna. Hey, is welcome on in. How you doing? Boss time. That's good. Let's see. My show, come on with the host. My show, give yourself a, a shout out. Here we go. Rose whipped. What's that? Necromancer extraordinary to be dropped into the abyss and still live. But you, your luck is about to run out. Get out of my way, child. Before I finish you, I will tell you some news. Your precious master is already in our power. What? That old man will feed us with his soul. The rite has been prepared and we only await the full moon. No! Here we go. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's get him with the whip. Oh, come on. That's gonna suck. Ugh. 18 damage. 18 damage. 18 damage. Eight, eight. What is the Holy Cross? What does it do? Oh, that does some good damage right there. That does like some reoccurring damage right there. Right, hang on, get him in a stopping position. Nice to be actually appreciate the graphics of this game, yeah. Wait, so if I do... Oh, did I just... Wait, I killed him. Oh, there's another form! Crap. Uh, there's, another fo there's two forms. Where'd he go? Come on, where'd, where'd he fucking go? No. 18. Ugh. Okay. Come on, jump up here. I'm, I'm a dead meat here. Yeah. Okay, I think if I stay here, I'm in the clear. Okay, I can't throw any more crosses. I, I thought it's just occurred to me. This is gonna suck. Getting the, the boss's pattern down. Ah. Two. Eighteen. There. Oh, you could just slide and kill those things. Interesting. Oh, snap, I beat him. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. First try, I beat him. Nice. Is there a third form? I know Master is still alive. Hold on, I'll be there. Though, wherever... Where is Hugh? Hugh Jass? Where's Hugh Jass? Thanks for the G's, Zorak. What do we got here? Tackle. Forward special move button makes the player charge. Some blocks can be destroyed with this move. The ch oh! Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, wait, can I do can I do it in the air? Nice. Okay, so we gotta find a save point. Alright, fall down all the way. Nice. Oh, not so nice. Slide, slide, keep going, keep going. Safety save. Yeah, that boss wasn't too bad. Cerberus kicked my can the whole <laughs> a lot more. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was I thought it was like um I thought it was dead there, but it wasn't. Okay. So we could break, we can now break stone. So now we could go back and break stone. Any place where we couldn't explore before. I guess we could go back through here. 
Level up. A, a double level level up. That's pretty good. Okay, let's keep going. Um. Oh snap! No, don't don't you die on me. I can charge now. Yeah, charging is like a new thing. Okay, so that breaks the stone. No, we don't want to go that way. Okay, so now we completed this. So now that we could break stone, I guess now we need to explore the rest of this area and break other stone areas, and that should take us to wherever we need to go next. That's that's my rules in Metroidvania. At least I learned that from playing Rygar on the NES. All right, let's keep the, uh, keep the cross. The cross definitely saved my ass a couple times there. All right, anything I'm missing here? I think... I need to go, let's go up. Let's go straight up. Ah, just keep sliding. Slide, slide, slide. All right, should be able to break this stone. Did it, okay, what's in here? I think I was here already. Kind of already here. Yeah, I was here. Okay, so this is just a new area to take a look at. What is this? What is, what is this? Where's that take me? Ooh, where's this take me? Oh, this is, oh, look at this. I know, where, I know where I am now. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. All right, so we found a teleporter port. That's pretty cool. That is awesome. All right, um, so now we could go backwards. So we've been here already. So we did this, okay, so that's where that takes us. Interesting. Okay. That's the teleporter. Yeah, it's not a Metroidvania without a teleporter. Alright, so let's see. If we keep... Is there anything up here? Like an exit or something? I don't see anything. I think we're supposed to freeze those guys. I have a feeling we need like a freeze weapon. Like in Metroid, and that probably is gonna create like a like some staircase for us or something to get through there. That's my thoughts and observations. Electronic skeleton. All right, if I come up here, still have to figure out how to slide under those things. Um, hmm, that's a save point. Nope. Okay, so let's take a look at our map. All right, I guess we could drop down and go right. Stone? The stone thing coming up? Uh, what's over here? Uh, we were already here. Let's just keep going right. Is there a stone thingy? How did we not go this way yet? Flea men. Wow, flea men suck in this game. All right, I'm gonna climb up here. Keep going. Oh, yeah, I got a heart increase. Nice. Okay. Can't refill my hearts, though, with the heart increase. That sucks. Um, oh, fuck you, flea man. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Oh, I could come up here. Nice. But I. Okay. Triangle jumps? Is there a triangle jumps in this game? I'm going to bet they have triangle jumps in this game. That would be really fucking hellish if they did. Cause I suck at triangle jumping. All right, so there's nothing over here. I think we need to use the teleporter to go back down. I do see a little. I do see a little like piece of space we didn't explore yet. Let's go over there really quick. Yeah, there's like two spots that I didn't. I need to check out still. So let's. Yeah, we'll go that way. Um. Let's keep climbing the ladder to victory here. A couple areas couldn't access before, yeah. Yeah. Like, I think I think the stone thingy was one of them. Unless there was a block. I wonder if you could break the the block uh the crates with the um this this charge attack. I'm curious if you can do that. If you could, 
You might not. I might not be able to actually, but we'll we'll see. We'll find out. Select. Um. Okay, so we have to go up. We break that. We go up. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. Huh. Huh. Oh, yeah, you know, would it be faster if I go up and around and down or down and around? I'm gonna go down and around. I'm gonna go down and around. I know that made no sense. We're going down and we're going down and around. We're going up and around instead of down and around. All right, we're going this way. All right, take out the fire. That's good. All right, come up here. Oh, all right. We don't want the pickaxe. We want to keep the holy cross as long as possible here. Okay, so anything up here? Nope, nothing. All right, what if we go... Oh, nice. Okay, take this guy out. All right, if I fall down here... Okay, I think we're on track. Nice. All right, we're on track. We're definitely on track here. All right, I'm going to keep going. What's in here? Stone. Okay, we weren't here before. What's on this other side? Oh, what is that? Is that pot? HP max increase. Nice. Heat shade. That's heat shade. Oh, got a card. A Jupiter card. What does a Jupiter card do? Let's take a look at the Jupiter. So Jupiter, god of the heavens and the leader of Olympias, has the potential of the defense. All right. Interesting. Def All right, so I guess our defense went up. Thank you so again so much backtracking. Oh yeah, yeah. I got a lot of backtracking to do. But we're gonna do this. At least there's a smart way of backtracking, and we're gonna we're gonna pull that off. All right. So if we go down, there's one more area to take a look at. I think it's like right here. Didn't equip it. Don't equip it. Didn't equip it. I think it's. I, th I think you meant didn't equip it. So I'm not gonna equip it. Combining cards. All right. I didn't equip the card. Yeah, I didn't. I'll figure it out. All right. So if I go in here, can I break this? Okay. So you can't break those blocks. Card. Okay. This, so the card tells you how to do it. All right. DSS. Okay. Hold on. What if we put... Hmm. The hell is... Oh, okay. So that increases your defense. I see now. All right. So that's what that does. All right. So that is the Jupiter. Uh, so what if we do Salamander? Oh, that's what that does. Okay. I see now. Junk is draining the heck out of your mana. Yeah. All right. I got you. Okay. So let's not do that. That's why I said don't equip that. Makes sense. All right. So let's run away. I just wanted to see what that did. I'm glad I was able to check that out. All right. So the map tells me... I think I know where I have to go now. We have to go... We have to get the hell out of here. All right. So... Climb up here. Skeleton soldier. Jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, fuck you. Jump. 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 Alright, let's get out of the way. I'm, I'm just ignoring those guys because I don't feel like killing them. Alright, so... Alright, select is telling me... I'm just going to go over everything. That's what I'm trying to do. Alright, so I go through here. This is going to take me over here. 
which is gonna take me down. We wanna go down. All right, let's see, do we wanna go str We don't wanna go straight. We wanna go straight down, and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. All right, so if I go through here, we should be able to break a block or something. Nope, we can't break this thing. Okay, so our path is still blocked. So the real question is, ugh, where do we go? I'm thinking we need to go down. We just have to go, we have to go back and uh, find out what stones we could break that we couldn't. The stone paths are, are clearly the next uh, next areas we need to explore. So I'm just going to go back down. We're going to backtrack. That's how we're going to do this. Bonehead. There's a save point. All right, we'll take a safety save just to make sure we're good. All right, so... Keep going down. Keep hitting select. Oh, yeah, we'll go through this door. This We're missing this part. We still can't go through here. Ugh. I gotta figure out how to break those open. I assume that's like some sort of chain we have to like defeat or something. All right, let's keep going down. Anything down here? This area we missed, so we'll go through there. We are missing stuff. What's in here? Oh, what is that? HP max increase. Keep going down. What is it's like it's like a missing like block here. Is there like a secret like wall or something that I'm missing? Alright, so if I go up here, is there like something hidden in the wall? There's like a missing space. Anything out of here? Is there oh look at that. Look at that. See? I knew that looked that area looked suspicious. It's like a little hidden space that was like blank. I knew there was something hidden there. Okay, we found a secret. I found a secret without chat's help. That's great. Okay, so I hit select. Um, I think we just have to go down now. Hmm, bat, bat. Yeah, anything in here? Can't break that yet, damn it. All right. Slide. Hmm. Keep going down. Slide, slide them all. Oh. Nice. Poison worms. Why do worms have to be so poisonous? All right, here we go. Yay, that guy goes down very easily now. Earth demon. Nope, I want the cross. Don't let go of the cross from me. I need it. Okay. So, hey, Ninja Warlord. Welcome on in. This doesn't look like the divide. <laughs> yeah, because we're playing a good Metroidvania today. Welcome on in, Met uh, Ninja. Hope you're doing well. Um, hmm. I th think we have to go up. Hmm. What's in here? We could break the stone wall. What's inside here? Stone armor. Wow. Wow. Okay. Killed him. Break that stone. Let's see it's over here. Oh, some more flame. More a zombie thief. We don't want that. Nice. Got him. Zombie thief. MP max increase. Anything in here? Looks like we got to the end. Though it looks like there's supposed. I think there's something hidden in that wall or one of the wall behind it. So let's look around. Let's go behind it. Keep going. Skeleton. Antidote. Antidote. 
Yeah. All right, select. I think there is a hidden item in the wall. We're going to take a look. Oh, yeah, I think there's definitely something hidden up there. Yay, I found something hidden. Hey, what's that? Ooh, is that a potion? Potion, yay. MP max increase. Okay, what's a potion do? Recover 20 HP, perfect. Okay, so we got we got something. That'll come in handy for sure. All right, select. It looks like there's something we're missing bottom right, but I think... I think we need like a... We need something to get through there. I think we have it now. We should be able to get up here. It's a double jump or something. No, we need a triangle jump or something to get up there. We'll have to figure that out. We can slide under here. <clears throat> Purple Haze, how you doing? Love this game, but never got to finish it because an X... Oh man, that sucks. A friend stole your copy? I hate when that happens. That really happened. That does, that happened to me. Um, my sister's boyfriend at the time. They were they were like they were like college couple, and he had a Nintendo 64 and he wanted games. This is around 2000, so or 2001. I was playing like the Dreamcast back then. I wasn't playing N64. My sister lent uh, him my my Nintendo 64 games, and they broke up. And unlike the worst terms ever. I never got my N64 games back because of it. It was so shitty and scummy what he did. But, uh, yeah. Acted like he didn't know anything about it. And then he got proof later. He took the other cards. Ah, uh, that sucks. I hate when that happens. Okay. So, slide under here. Heat when that happens. That's 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 pit. That's that, what kind of what, oh, so it was this this was one of the games, I assume. You probably had other games too. That that's scummy. I'm sorry to hear about that. Ugh, water's yummy. Mm, I can't believe tomorrow is gonna be Friday. You know what that means? I should go out and get bagels for breakfast tomorrow. Bagels and coffee. That's what I'm that's what I'm probably gonna do tomorrow for breakfast. Probably not, truthfully. I'll probably go out and just get coffee. No bagels. <laughs> so much backtracking in this game. Alright, so let's see. What am I missing here? According to the map, I'm not missing anything. F took this Final Fantasy 3, Chrono Trigger, Mario Advance, and Act Razor. Oh shit. That sucks, dude. Sorry to hear about that. be fair, you didn't play this a whole lot of GBA games, even though you had a system w with what was new. Brother had Pokemon, Sapphire, maybe a few other titles. Never big experience like this game. Yeah. Pokemon. Ooh, what's under here? Ooh, this is new. I've never been over here. I've never been over here. I've never been here. Okay, I think... I've never been here before found a hidden area bonehead bonehead it's in here select that's just gonna take us out through there dun, 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 dun. what's over here oh fuck <laughs> I hate when that happens GBA is a super underrated system a lot of yeah it Really is. I was one of those people back in the day that kind of dissed the GBA. I was like, oh, Game Boy, that's for babies. I don't want fucking Game Boy. And then I just like purposely like stayed away from Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. And I never played like the Sonic Advance games and I like, I, like missed out on everything. And it was like a, it was like a, G GBA was like basically like a overpowered Super Nintendo. That's what I think it it was, because you had a lot of the games like that were on the Super Nintendo, but it it was just way better, and it was handheld. Like it should have been its own console. I think it would have it would have been amazing. 
I missed it. I did. No, you're right. I, I absolutely did. I missed out on Game Boy, uh, Sonic Advance series, all the Castlevanias, the, the Mega Mans, the Me Metroids I missed out on. I missed out on... And I thought the same thing about the DS, too. So, um... I missed out on every anything that was Nintendo DS 3... 3DS... I mean, it was only until the 3DS I started, like, playing DS again. Like, I'd play, like, like, like uh, New Su Super Mario Brothers 2, um... I would I would find out about every like the games in the in the the e shop and everything. Um, yeah, I missed out on a lot of shit. Long story short. Okay, so I'm all the way down here, and where the fuck am I? <laughs> where the fuck am I? I? I I there's no missed areas that I'm I'm missing out. Oh, you know what? This double jump. I didn't go this way before. I didn't go this way before. OG GBA and launch. Yeah, I had an OG GBA. I think the other the other part of it was um, the the games I played on the Game Boy Advance. Some of them were like really shitty. Like I played, I think I think I one of the games for the Game Boy Advance is Justice League, Injustice for All. It's based off of the an episode of Justice League. Um, and that game's like really jank. It's like really jank, and like games like shovelware like that just like turned me off and I just like didn't like bother with the GBA and then there was a lot of shovelware that was like on the DS and 3DS that kind of turned me off um like the Sudoku uh Carol Baskin Sudoku or something like that I know that game doesn't exist but there were like all these there's so many Sudoku games on the on the 3DS DS it's not even funny let's cook let's cook is that Nintendogs? I'm like thinking of all these games and I'm just like, ugh. So much shit. And then you got like the you got like the Nicktoons thing, which is actually kind of cool what they did. The Nicktoons on the G the Game Boy Advance. Um So I, I I basically tuned out a Nintendo after the Game Boy not the Game Boy, after the GameCube. I tuned myself out of Nintendo completely until the 3DS and the Switch. But uh thanks to the shovelware. But thankfully, uh a lot of the a lot of the hidden gems are disguised as shovelware. That's that's great. When you run across a hidden gem that's disguised as shovelware. That's that's pure luck. Nintendo consoles have the most most, worst, most shovelware it brings down the opinion of them unfairly yeah like me um like there's this there's this game and I'm, I'm I know I'm going off topic because it's not Nintendo there's a game on the PlayStation that looks like it looks like a shovelware game uh it's called covert ops nuclear dawn and it looks like it looks like a, some crappy shovelware, um, like like um, siphon filter or something like that. But it's a hidden gem, <laughs> Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. It's like Resident Evil on a train. That's like a good example of like shovelware that ends up being good. Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. Um, then you have games on the Game Boy Advance like Iridian 3D that looks like it's shovelware because Majesco Sales produced it and Majesco Sales did a lot of shovelware. Um, and it's actually like a really good game, Iridian 3D, Iridian 2. Those are shmups. R RE0? Yeah, RE0. Yeah, Resident Evil on a train without the survival horror. Nuclear Dawn. Yeah, Nuclear Dawn's the shit. I played through that game once um, before I streamed, so I kind of want to go back and play it. Um, when you unlock New Game Plus, it's like the most bizarre, like, thing ever. Like, the whole game takes place on a train. You have to, like, rescue, like, the French ambassador, the French U.S. ambassador, and, like, their family. And the train has, like, a nuclear weapon on 
board the train, kind of like Metal Gear with the the walking uh, nuclear tank. Um, this train is nuclear. It has the ability to launch a nuke anytime, and it's heading for France. And you have to like stop it before it gets to France because they're gonna the terrorists are gonna like launch a nuke. Splinter Cell, like now I want to play. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 amazing. It plays like it has the the tank controls from Resident Evil. It has the has the the whole stealth aspect from like Splinter Cell, Metal Gear Solid, and it has like the action adventure from Trag by Sunsoft. That's what it is. And um, so the whole game takes place on a train. The new game plus option, for some reason, in the middle of the game, you teleport to Germany, like some farm taken over by terrorists in, in Germany and you have to escape. And it's supposed to be like a hidden like secret or something like that. You have to beat the game once to unlock it. It's the most jankiest thing ever. I, I swear, we gotta do we gotta do a playthrough of that game. When I feel like playing tank control games like Resident Evil, we're, we're gonna play that. That's on the list. Talk about nuclear disaster, Miss Blast Corp. Blast Corps oh, in 64. That came out on the Saturn too in the US. Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. Uh, in Japan, it was called uh, Chase the Express. So I'm like, am I like stuck in this game? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Wait, if I go, d I need to break. I know I have to break something. Where, where am I missing? Uh, I know I broke stone. We need to break a block or something. Blast Corpse is on the Saturn, yeah. Blast Corpse is on the Saturn. That's a fun game. And it's on PlayStation and N64. Uh, what are games are on PlayStation that are, like, really good? But they look jank. Um, Runabout. Runabout on the PlayStation. Super jank game, but super hidden gem, according to Metal Jesus. Um, hmm. Where the fuck are we supposed to go? Um, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm... I thought I backtracked to everything. Mix it with something else. Blast Corpse is a rare game. Blast Corpse on the Saturn. Am I thinking of something else? What's that game? What's that game where it's like you're in a cube? No, it's it's on the Saturn. It's that game you're in a cube. And you have to spin around, you have to get out, sort of like a puzzle game. That's Blast Corpse, right? Or is that something else? Made by Rare. Okay. Oh, crap, we're going the right way. Okay, so it's not Blast Corpse. Okay, I found my way through. <laughs> what game is that? Blast Chamber, that's what I was thinking of. Blast Chamber. That's on the Saturn, my bad. Blast Chamber, that's on the Saturn PlayStation. So it's not on N64. Hmm. I get them too confused. All right, so I've discovered a whole new area. It's in here. Last Corpse is Nintendo. Okay. So, okay, so we, okay. So I assume where we're at now is going to give us the ability to break blocks. And I assume there's a boss fight coming up. So, rightfully so. There's a boss fight coming up. Hmm. 54. Let's keep going up. Ooh, machine tower. This is where we gotta go. All right, we're getting close. Machine tower. Change of, change of pace. Fox archer. What is that? Cotton robe. I wonder if we could change our items here. Cotton robe. Prison garb. Wristband. Magic Gauntlet. What are your favorite favorite mixes in this game? Yeah, nice. Now we're talking some cat jams. Uh, prison garb, cotton robe. Prison garb, clothes worn by a prisoner. Yeah, let's put on the prisoner outfit. So we're prison. We're in prison in this game. It's like we're in prison. Medusa head. Oh no, I'm gonna be poisoned very easily. Alright, keep going this way. Dun, 
Dun, dun, dun, dun. All right, we're gonna ready, set, go. You know what I love about the Game Boy Advance? I remember back in 2001, there was already an emulator for it. There was already a, a very good emulator out for the Game Boy Advance, and ROMs were already being dumped. It was pretty bad for Nintendo. I remember that. And like, it was like pixel perfect emulation on the Game, game Boy Advance. And it was like, I almost felt like, oh shit. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I thought I lost my cross for a second there. I was like, fuck that. I ain't losing that shit. Played Pokemon Ruby back then on there. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, it's not the same. I got to play it on an actual Game Boy Advance. And I know this isn't an actual Game Boy Advance, but it's a console. I feel like we're playing on a console. Super Nintendo, because it's like a Super Nintendo. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we are already here. Imagine since I was mostly a souped up SNES. Easy to emulate, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mm -mm -mm. And I know there were, there were like those kits that like helped you like create your own like FMV cartridges. Your own, your own, you could put your video files on a Game Boy Advance cart. That was pretty cool. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Don't lose the car. No, 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 no. We want... No. Good. Okay, good. We don't want to lose that. Level up. Nice. Okay, let's keep going up. I'm playing on Mark Micro. Yeah. Game Boy Micro. I've always wanted to try that out. What steered me away from getting a micro is there was no way to play, like, Game Boy Color, regular Game Boy. It's just Game Boy Advance. That would be pretty sick if you could play Game Boy Color on there. I I, I love how this, this device I'm using to play Game Boy Advance, there's no way to play regular Game Boy, Game Boy Color on it. Like, if this Super Retro Advance adapter had the ability to play... Game Boy Color cards. This, that would be awesome. Not even the Super Game Boy could play Game Boy Color. Uh, that's partially true. Um, Game Boy Color black cartridges could be played on the Super Game Boy. Uh, uh, the clear cartridges can't. If I remember correctly. card is called Play Yen Micro. You can put an MP3 and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I misread that then. Uh, how do we get up here? Uh, these stupid screw nut wheel thingies. Gotta use the... Okay, what's over here? Uh, that's a clock. We don't want that. Did we go over here yet? No, we did Let's see what's inside. Nice. Mm, this is gonna be fun. Ah, oh, these moving platforms, they, they look all too familiar to me. This is like that level in the divide where you have to time it right. Silk robe, let's see here. Item. Use, where's our silk robe? Uh, def. Perfect. All right, break that. Anything in here? Nothing. Fall down. Ooh, HP increase. So this is just like an item area. Yeah, increase your items. Uh, jump up. Stay there. Go, 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 go. All right. Just got to stay here for a little bit. Jump. Ugh. I should really get the, the GameCube, the Game Boy player for GameCube. That plays all Game Boy Color. Game Boy Advance, a little bit better than this, I would say. Um, it's more convenient. The debate is going to haunt us for a while. Yeah, we got to go back and play that game. Uh, we're, we, we're supposed to play that on Tuesday, but I uh, something something went wrong with my stomach that day. <laughs> I want to give... It, my stomach was bothering me that whole day, 
I thought I could just like rest it off or whatever. And when it was time to go stream. I was like, ah, we can't stream. <laughs> we'll have to do it another day. And then here you go. So well, we'll go back to the divide. Maybe like next week or something like that. We'll make Metroidvania's week. Weeks. Two weeks of Metroidvania instead of one week. Oh, what's in here? Heat shade. Nice. MP max increase. That's good stuff. The divide. Enemies within. That stupid double jump was so, like, jank. Really bad. All right, keep climbing up. Hit select anything. I'm missing something. Uh, can we go down? Oh, fuck you. Okay, yes, we are missing something. Uh, reason why I want to play Game Boy Color so bad is I have a copy of Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color. I really want to play through that game. Because that's supposed to be a really good game, and I have overlooked it many times. Solely for the fact that it's a Metal Gear game on the Game Boy. It just it just didn't phase me. And I kind of want to go back and play um, Snake's Revenge for the NES. And I've, it, I've always shrugged it off because Kojima was not involved with that game. But I think it's a really good game, though. Everybody says it sucks because Kojima wasn't involved. So it's not a Metal Gear game, technically. PS1 and 64 games, Game Boy, fascinating, like Purple, Perfect Dark, yeah. Like, Little Nicky on the Game Boy Color looked pretty cool. They had Dragon's Lair on the Game Boy Color. I, I overlooked Game Boy Color also, in general, because I just thought it was just Game Boy in color. I was like, it's just Game Boy in color that's all it is and i'm like all right whatever i don't need to play game boy in color i'll just play nes and then i missed out on all these games and i was like I, the other thing too it was like okay it's like game boy but it fits in your pocket game boy pocket <laughs> it's like it's like, yeah it's like it's like game boy but it fits in your pocket. It's like that episode of The Simpsons with the Malibu Stacy doll. It's, but she's got a new hat. It's nothing. It's the same Malibu Stacy. She's got a new hat, but she's got a new hat. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> she's got a new hat. She's got a new hat. They they did the same thing um, with The Sims. Um, they every time they put out an expansion pack, you'd be like, The Sims now have pets. The Sims can now wear hats. Scott the Waz did a good clear up in the Game Boy to Game Boy color trans transition. Oh, uh, yeah. But she's got a new hat. It's just like the Switch. Oh, but it has, o it has an OLED screen. That's all. The new Switch. It just has a better screen. Oh, fuck. I'm going to die. Oh, heat shade. Can I slide under here? Ooh, ooh, am I supposed to go in here? See, you get the transfer pack for N64 for future use. The transfer pack. Oh yeah, that, that that lets you play Pokemon games on the uh, Pokemon Stadium. Hmm. I always wanted to try that out. It just lets you play Pokemon. Not any other Game Boy game. Just Pokemon. Like, Nintendo could have done so much better. Like, play Game Boy Color, Game Boy games on your your N64. No, just Pokemon. That's all we want. Just Pokemon. Because that's their number one franchise. Oh, shit. Do that with Transformers, but it, the one's in different colors. I don't think it'll work with Game Boy Ever Drive though. It's just Stadium Stadium 2 it'll only work. The actual Game Boy cart. Yeah. You know what I tried doing with an EverDrive? Um I wanted to see if there was a way to play any Game Boy game using the uh Super Game Boy uh plugged in like Super Game Boy plugged in like a Game Boy plugged into a Super EverDrive. Um to play any like 
Game Boy game on, on the Super Game Boy, but that didn't work. Would be would be interesting. Okay, if I break this, I should be able to jump up here. What's in here? Oh, nice! I found a... What is this? I can't get up there without, like, a triple jump. I wonder if there is a triple jump. I can use this to jump up. So I have red and silver card that I could use to test out, but I gotta get a GB EverDrive to back up those saves. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I I have never played a Pokemon game from start to finish. I, I've, I've, I've seen my cousin play it. Like, Pokemon, he had both red and blue version. I saw him go through the game. Oh, I got a Venus card. I saw him play through it, and I had a, I had a walkthrough guide. I had one of those, like, Prima guides. I used to, like, take a look at it. Like, wow, this would be a fun game to play. But I, I just never, like, manned up and played, like, Pokemon from start to finish. I attempted to play Pokemon Yellow at one point, and I just gave up. <laughs> I just gave up. Oh, fuck. Where am I going? Is that a save point right there? There's got to be a save point. Yes, save point. We're coming across the end, I think. Never played any Pokemon at all. It came out when you were starting high school, so it wasn't the target audience. Yeah. I was, I was going into middle school, and it was coming out, too. I was like, ah, Pokemon's for babies. I'm not going to watch Pokemon anymore. Can't watch Pokemon. It's funny, because when that happened, that was around that last, like, that first season when Pokemon, uh, Ash, Ash lost the Pokemon League to his best friend. His best friend, which is the reason why I don't like Pokemon. I was like, fuck that. I watched all season, all series for you, Ash, to go to the Pokemon League, and you fucking lost. I ain't watching your shit no more. Crystal is better. I actually have Pokemon Crystal. Somebody gave it to me. Back when I was, like, I had, I had like, this coworker at the time. I was telling him I never played Pokemon from start. I, like, this conversation we're having right now. Um, I told him I never played Pokemon from start to finish. He was like, I have Pokemon Yellow if you want it. I was like, sure. And he's like, you could just take it. Don't have to worry about, you know, giving it back or anything. So he gave me Crystal and Yellow. I'm like, oh, whatever. Iron Golem. Iron Golem. Oh, wait. Uh, let's get a card um card venus goddess of love and beauty has the potential of enhancement Ooh. enhancement let's get the f let's get that in there enhancement oh that's giving his health back shit we don't want that um dss let's do jupiter two fireballs you Circle. Let's do fire whip. Fire whip these assholes. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's getting his health back. Shit. He's cheating. He's literally cheating. Oh, shit. Okay, I think this boss is easy. It's doable. Thirteen, 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 thirteen. Oh, I think he's going down. He's flashing. Oh, no, he's getting his health back. Uh, he gets his health back. We're doing that. Fifty-nine. Okay, hang on. Hit start. Uh, item. Potion. That didn't do shit at all. <laughs> Got him. Nice. I get. I killed him. All right. That was easy. Second form. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, who's this? Hugh. Are you all right? Been watching the stream. Doing some paint. Oh, we're painting. Six string. What are you doing here? Are you trying to take my glory? What? What are you talking about? I just want to save Master. You're in the way. 
I will defeat Dracula myself. Painting a guitar, nice. I know Gen 2 Pokemon like the back of my hand, but very little after that, yeah. I gotta play Pokemon again one day. And then, Q. Uh-oh. Okay, so I assume at the end here, we're gonna get a weapon. What are we gonna get? What are we getting? Don't want that. Ooh, kick boots. Jump against... <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. We're getting a wall jump attack. I knew it. Oh, where's Maestro? Maestro, are you still there? There is a fucking wall jump in this game. Push forward, special move to execute. Okay, at least this is doable. This 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 jump kick thing, this double jump. Might want to start with Fire Leaf and Green. That's the best current star for newcomers. Fire Leaf and Green. Okay, that's Game Boy Advance, I think. Leaf Green. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, fuck. I need to get out of here. Select. Where's my... Okay, so there is a safety save right down. Yep, I got it. There's a fucking wall jump in this. This is gonna fucking suck. All right, so now we gotta go back where we could wall jump. Oh my gosh, this is gonna suck. This is really gonna effing suck. Wall jump. All right. So, ugh, looking ahead at the map, there's some areas that we're missing. There's definitely some areas that needed we needed a wall jump to get around. All right, let's use a let's use a antidote. To get out of there. Get a poison stat. Jump, jump. Let's get out of here. Fuck you, you asshole. I know I can attack those things. But that's that'll, that'll just slow me down. All right, go this way. Oh, something is up here. Nothing. There's nothing in here. Okay, so... Oh, the, the remix of Red and Blue. Okay, I didn't know that. I just thought that was like a newer version of Pokemon for some reason. Okay, so we could just go... All right, we got to go up. Okay, so the wall kicks are a little bit easier to pull off in this game. Okay, so here we go. Yay, wall jump. I knew there was going to be a wall jump in this game. Came out in 2004. Hmm. Oh, werewolf. Werewolf. We got werewolf. Right, I'm getting out of here. Running through here. Werewolf. Take. Ooh, werewolf sucks. Werewolf really fucking sucks. There we go. Level up on the werewolf. All right. Hyena. Hyenas and werewolves. Good combo. All right. So were we here already? I think we're going to collide where we were last at. Yeah, this is going to take us back. This is going to take us back. Gargoyle. Gen 4 Remix. Wait till the were... Wait till thy werewolf. I'll just show myself out. Yeah. Anything in here? No. Nothing there. Can we go... Let's go down. Oh. So many. So many... What is it? Gargoyles. Speaking of gargoyles, you know a really good Sega Genesis game? Gargoyle... The gargoyles on the Sega Genesis, based off the TV show. That is an awesome, like, game. There's got to be a way to get up here. Wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. I knew it. I knew there was a way. <gasps> Ooh, oh my god. Wait, don't. Oh. Wait. Okay, hold on. There's a way. There's a way. Hang on. Jump up. Okay, nope, can't do it. GBA adapter is actually pretty good. Sound emulation apart. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it comes out composite video, which, you know, it sucks. It's comp composite video. You know, it is what it is, but things are right. Things to power up that makes you go up even higher. Yeah, I think, I think 
Th there's gotta be a way. So we'll, we'll just come back there. Come back to this. I think I was here already. Yes. Okay. So we need to revisit an area that has a wall jump. Looks like there's areas on the left that we haven't explored, and sadly we have to we we have to backtrack. I think. So we're gonna do we're gonna do some backtracking. That's all right. Before we go forward. All right. So the question is, yes, go down. Go through here. Break that. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. If we go straight out, it should take us. Should take us to where we need to go. We still need a way to break crates. And I think that's a power up that we're going to get later on. We have a wall kick. Um, and here. Something's up here. Okay, let's see here. Oh, uh, if I jump up. And then, nope, nothing up here. If I go straight down, that's going to take... Yep, we got to break the crates somehow. All right, so... Uh, select. Let's see what's on the map here. <coughs> if we go straight up, there's a couple... Okay, there's like a few spots that we're missing. I'm just going to take a look at those really quick just to make sure not, that we're not missing anything spectacular. <coughs> I always, I just want to like make sure I hit it all at once, you know. That's a save point. Yeah, we'll do save, safety save, refill our health. <clears throat> all right. So if I hit select, it's something directly above me. Let's see what's up here. No crap. <coughs> mm. Go. Stay here. There we go. Uh, anything in here? We were just okay. Hold on. We were just here. Um. Mm. Don't want that. We don't want that. Nice. In we go. Alright, hit select. Okay, there's something down here. Yes. We didn't go in here yet. Okay, wall jump time. Sweet. Look at that. Ah, it's taking a lot of hits. <sighs> nice. Ah, okay. No, crap. All right, come up. Wall jump time. Come this way. Oh, wall jump. Wall jump. Ah, wall jump. Wall jump. Go. Wall jump. We'll jump, go, duck. Ah, crap! Fuck. Go, go. There we go. I knew we got it. Okay. <clears throat> MP max increase. All right, gotta keep going up to the top. Keep going. Okay. Select anything else? Yes, gotta go up and to the right. Ah, oh, okay, we can't go in there yet. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I thought there was something we missed that involved one of those cubby hole looking things. Uh hit select anything over here. There's something over here we're missing, so let's take a safety save and take a look at it. Yeah, here we go. Slut. All right, come on. Keep going. Fall down. All right. Go, 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 go. Take him out. Fuck. Nice. 114. 
wall kick. Yes, we could go up here with the wall kick. We got this. Go, 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 go. Oh, we want that cross. No, we want the cross. Don't lose the cross. We want the cross. Wall kick. Oh, what is that? Miracle armband. Let's see. Let's equip that. Miracle armband. What does that do? Increases the luck while equipped. Uh, I'm going to keep the luck where we're at. Because fuck luck. I guess luck increases good RNG. What is this? We got ourselves HP max increase. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. Nice. Keep going. Fall down. Skeleton knight. Skeleton. All right, keep going. Oh, okay. There's definitely a way to break that. I know for a fact. Oh, crap. Okay, so I, I think I have to jump around. No. Eh, just keep going, keep going. Select. What are we missing? Yeah, I, I know exactly where we need to go. Uh, yeah. I know exactly where we need to go. <laughs> yep, we're running this way. Slide under here. Yep, this part. I totally missed this part completely. Oh, nice. Killed him. What is that? Magic gauntlet. Oh, what's in here? Uh, Fox, Fox Archer. HP max increase. Keep going. Uh, fuck. Okay, stay up here. Take that guy out. There we go. Come down. Skeleton. Nice. Leather armor. We don't want that. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Take a look on the select. Looks like we're missing some stuff up here. Uh, are we? Yeah, we're missing something. Hang on. Go this way. Oh, no! Keep going straight up here. We visit, visit this game possibly during... Yeah, oh, you know what? During Halloween 16, I am going to play a bunch of survival horror games. I have all these survival horror games that I didn't play on Halloween. Like, I was able to play Silent Hill 4. I was glad I was able to play that. I really want to play, like, Silent Hill, like, 1 or, or something, like, terrifying like that. Um, on Halloween, around Halloween, I actually picked up this game. Um, in, in Europe, it was called Hell Knight. In Japan, it was called something else. Forgot the name of the game. In Japan, it was called Hell Knight. I think in J no in Europe, it's called Hell Knight. In Japan, it's called something else. There's like this. It's for the PS1. It's in first person. There's this thing that you can't see that chases after you, and the music gets like louder and louder when he's like really close. It's very scary. I'm gonna play that on Halloween and play uh, like a Silent Hill game or something. Very scary. Very terrifying. Legit skip, legit scary. Like, so, like you feel somebody is chasing after you. That's how like scary it is. And it's an adventure game too. So it has like adventure game with survival horror like aspects to it. And it's all in Japanese. But there's a there is a pal there's a pal version that exists. I'm curious if I can get it on the Vita or the the PS TV. So that would be pretty cool. Like download it on the PSN in English, and just like play that version off the the PS Vita TV should work anything in here oh no we 
Okay, hit select. Yeah, I think I explored everything. Okay, I think we could go down now. Wait, so if I go if I go down here. Next level scary. Oh yeah. PT before it was PT. Or no, no, Slender. Slender Man before it was Slender Man. Something's chasing you legitimately. It gets louder and louder. Alright, something is legit up here. Okay, go in here. Nice. There we go. Play those fail frame games. I have, um... What's that game? Siren 1 and 2. We could play Siren. It's in Japanese, though. I don't know if we could under we could understand it. I do have Clock Tower 3 on the PS2. It's been a while since like I, I, I said I was going to get a hold of that game, but we have it. We have Clock Tower 3. So there's a way to play it. I feel like there's something up here, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack and get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Keep going. There we go. Skeleton. Go 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 go. Oh fuck! Wait a minute. Hold on. I just went in a big fucking circle. Damn it! All right, so we need to. Ugh, we need to go the other way. RE7 looks like I had a good lineup of scary games to play. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of good games to play on Halloween. I mean, there we played Deep Fear last Halloween, which is the Sega Saturn like Resident Evil knockoff game that came out only on the the Japanese and European Saturn. Uh, we played that. Um, we played um, Silent Hill 4, the Japanese version, which is in English. Uh, the only reason why I play the Japanese version because the English the Jap English version is like over a hundred bucks Japanese version is like under 40 and I was able to get that very cheap and it, it's still in English um, Let's see uh, um, What else did I play during Halloween last year? I played, um, I played a Castlevania game, which is technically not horror. Not familiar with the Silent Hill franchise? Scary. Oh, yeah. Silent Hill is a scare, scary game, Silent Hill. I mean, it's, it's not that scary, but it's, it's, it's unsettling. It's got some creepy atmospheres involved with it. Um, I played... Oh yeah, I played the Angry Nintendo, Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures One and Two Deluxe, because uh, I I was able to get an early access code for that, uh, which had some Halloween themes to it. I played that. Um, what else did I play? I think I played um, I played the Dark Stalkers games. I know for a fact. Oh fuck, I'm falling down here again. Damn it. That's alright, I need to go down here to get to go to the areas that use the wall the wall jump. Uh, so we'll come back down here. Da, 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 da. Another good horror game. Obscure for the PS2 and PC. Yes, I heard of Obscure. Uh there's okay, we played Overblood. Overblood one on the PS1, which is like a super jank horror game another like resident evil like tank controls clone game uh we played yeah that game was very bad <laughs> over blood we played that in one night we did phantasmagoria the phantasmagoria for the sega saturn which was like a japanese uh port of it trag on ps1 i would i do have trag i do have trag that's not a survival horror game though not that i know of 
Um, not that I know of, but uh, still pretty good, nonetheless. Scariest game I've ever played. Scariest game I ever played. Ugh, scariest game. Yeah, it is Resident Evil style. I might as well play um, that train game I was just talking about. Escape Chase the Express. Um, scariest game I ever played. Uh, legit terrified me. Hmm. I can't think of one. Um. I'd say PT would be like that would be up there with the scary meter, but um, it's like that one jump scare and that's it. PT. So I wouldn't say that's the most scariest game I ever played. The Resident Evil. Okay, I'll tell you the most scariest game. Um, most scariest game. There's two of them. Uh, Outlast one. And Penumbra. Penumbra is definitely one of the scariest games. Penumbra. Penumbra is D is scariest. Oh yeah, D. We play D on this on the Saturn. Dead Space. D is pretty scary for sh no. D D was unsettling. So yeah, uh, this game on the PC called Penumbra is by the makers of, of Amnesia. The first Penumbra game is the scare is pretty scary. It's like you're being you're being chased by like something. Penumbra Overture, yeah. There's Penumbra Overture, Penumbra Black Plague, and Penumbra Requiem. Penumbra Re Requiem is not uh, Requiem is not scary at all, though. They they make you feel like something's gonna happen that's like extremely scary, but it's like not scary at all that game is just all puzzles and puzzle solving which is pretty cool um but yeah penumbra overture and black plague are pretty but overture is definitely the scariest one because of those fucking this I, i'm not gonna spoil it i'm gonna spoil it there's a let's put it this way there's a pit of spiders that you have to avoid that chase after you and they just like keep appearing. It's the most unsettling, scary thing. And then you got this scary beast looking thing that's like chasing after you and stalking you. That is a scary game, Penumbra Overture. It's for PC, I don't think they made it on console. They should. It's terrifying. Came out in 2009 or something like that, 2008. It still holds up today. Dead Space Scariest. So as far as sci-fi horror goes, the scariest game, sci-fi horror, would have to be System Shock 2. If you ever play this game, it's for PC only. System Shock 2. You wake up after a, a, a sleeping coma, after like, you know, six months, space station gets taken over by a by a, an, uh, an AI called Xerxes, who is also taken over by another AI called Showdown who is the same AI from the first game. And uh, there's an alien life form that takes over the ship as well called the main, the many. And there's all these scary mutated creatures that come out and they, they harvest like the bodies of the, the crew members of the ship. And you're, you have to go against them. And there's, there's spoiler, there's spiders in that game. You're, fer you're terrified of spiders. There's just spiders that, like, pop out of nowhere and chase after you. And you thought, like, you killed all the spiders. They just keep popping out and they kill you. That's System Shock 2 in a nutshell. Just, there's a scary AI that's on board trying to terrorize you. And there's fucking spiders all over the place. Be terrified. Prey has some good jump scares. Oh, yeah, original Prey with um, the Native American Prey. I remember that. 2006. That's a good game. System Shock 2 is great. Hey, Jylax. Welcome on in. How you doing? System Shock 1 is also pretty good. If you like that old school, like, Doom-like graphics, that's good. Um, But, yeah, System Shock 2 is definitely another scary game. Amnesia is pretty scary. 
We all remember that viral clip of the guy that's like, there was like this this guy who was like legitimately terrified of walking down a hallway because he knows that that creepy creature is out to get him. Uh, Slender Man was pretty scary. It, you know what's scary? Playing a survival horror game in VR. That's terrifying. Uh, I played Paranormal Activity in VR for the PC. That was really unsettling, scary. Uh, duck season for the VR is pretty scary. Uh, cause you think it's a straight up like, you know, duck hunt, but it ends up being like this really scary, unsettling Five Nights at Freddy's style horror game. That's another scary game, Five Nights at Freddy's. If you like silly jump scares, that, that game's for you. Alright, where the fuck am I going? I'm, I need to find a wall... I need to find something that I could wall jump on. I think that's like... I gotta look for... I gotta look for an area where we can wall jump. Yeah, we need to backtrack to a wall that we can jump off of. Survival horror in VR, that's that's nuts. You know what's sick also in, in VR? And I'm I'm gonna totally sound like E3 2016 right now. Uh watch porn in VR. That's the most sickest thing. Porn in VR is the most sickest thing you could ever do. It's so jank. <laughs> it's the jankiest thing you could ever do. Oh wait, I can do wall jump right here. Lol. Porn in VR. That's that. Yeah, you know, we're talking about survival horror in VR. Porn in VR. That's what you can do. Survival porn. Come up here. Nice. Here we go. Let's see. Let's keep jumping. Oh shit, I lost my fucking cross. Ah, damn. Okay, I know where we gotta go. I definitely know where we are we have to go. We have to climb up to this wall. Yeah, it was like the highlight of E3 2016. Gotta get the HTC Vive so you could watch porn in VR. It's it's great. It's the best thing ever. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I, dude, I just want to go skiing in VR. Skiing is so fun in VR. Um, actually, my friend, um, who's like a gajillionaire, he actually was one of the first people to have a VR headset. He had an HTC Vive, which was like, at the time, it was like $1,200. I think it still is, if I'm not mistaken. I think the Pro is like up there as well. Um, he was one of the first ones to get it when it first came out in 2016. Went over to his house. He had, like, a big open area. And we played skiing, which was, like, one of the, one of the, like, the pack-in things that comes with the, the Vive is, like, the Steam VR. And one of the scenes you could visit is, like, uh, a skiing lodge. And you go outside the lodge, you could, like, go skiing. And it's, it's the most trippiest thing ever. And that, that made me want to go out and buy a VR headset it was so fun i and i played vr right I, I got one of those vibes i set it up in the same like small ass room and of course i was like whacking into walls with like the sensors in my hands like i made so many dents not even not even funny oh you know what speaking of survival horror um the scariest game you'll ever play in vr um richie's plank richie's plank experience Richie's Plank Experience in VR. That is the scariest experience. So what you're supposed to do is you go inside this elevator in VR. Like you actually, you're outside, you're on the on the streets, and um, you go inside this building and you actually walk into this building that has an elevator. You hit a button to go to the top floor and you wait to go on this elevator in the top, to go to the top floor. And then when you go to the top floor, you get out of the elevator. You're at the top of the building. And there's this plank. And you're supposed to walk over the plank that's hanging over the building. And what you're supposed to do to add more to the, you know, 
the theatrics of this whole simulation is you're supposed to put a plank on the floor in real time so that way you know when you're in vr as you're walking over this plank you're walking on this wooden plank that's like very flimsy and then you look down at like a 50 to 100 story building if you're afraid of heights like that it just it's 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 crazy it's just crazy and then it's not just the plank um the game gets um scary as it goes like it it adds like variety to it like you get a jet pack that like lets you like um fly around the city and then you become like a firefighter and you have to put out like fires with your jet pack that has like like your right arm can control the jet pack the left arm can control like the water and you can put out fires and then it gets scary because like there's this one button in the elevator you can hit you can hit that takes you to hell and then there's surprise spoiler alert spiders everywhere that crawl over you and you have to put the spiders out with the the fire hose and then spoiler alert more spiders pop out and scare the crap out of you so yeah if you're afraid of spiders and heights richie's plank experience in vr can you imagine a vr game based on your photo your phobia is i'm guessing you're afraid of spiders flaming spiders am i afraid of spiders um not really um i'm only afraid of them when i first when I, when I spot a spider in an area that i'm not you know i don't see a spider like if i the act of of, of seeing a spider like come out of nowhere is actually frightening but if i were to, if i know a spider is somewhere and i see it i'm not afraid of it so like if you like pick up a piece of a piece of paper or a book and you spot a spider that like falls on your hand that's gonna freak me out that's that'll freak anybody out Yo, Outsider Reaps. Welcome on in. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Hey, dudes. Hey, how you doing? Playing some uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon on Game Boy Advance. I'm getting lost. We're talking about VR game, scary VR games. Scary games in general. Mildly claustrophobic. If you played a VR game that simulated clothes in space, this is you freak out. You know, I, claustrophobia is no joke. I, I believe it. I have dreams that I crawl through very tight spaces and I get I get scared of that. But in real life I'm not really that claustrophobic. I'll I'm not. <laughs> I just I'll tell my I tell myself not to put myself in that position. Like I won't go cave diving in like you see those YouTube videos of them going into the, these deep diving caves and there's all these like these tight spots. I just won't, you know, put myself in that position. Okay, so once I was brushing my teeth, bent down the spit, stood up, there was a spider hanging from the ceiling, came out of nowhere. Yep, that would terrify me. Uh, one time, it was like an old place I used to live, um, live at. Uh, I was just lying down, sleeping. Spider came down. Came down, right at me, at my face. Luckily, I moved out of the way, turned the light on, took my shoe and whacked the shoot out of it. Killed it. That's, that's a rule. You know, if you want to be a spider and scare the crap out of me like that on purpose, you're, you're getting the shoe. You're getting the shoe. You might get the initial shrieks. So, Mr. Spider, you get your you get your little laughs now, but don't fuck around with me. Uh, PS4 is called White Day. It's pretty spooky scary. Oh, really? White Day. Sounds pretty scary. But the, uh, yeah, PT demo is pretty scary also. Um, okay, so I just remember the name of the game that for the PS1. So in Europe, PAL Europe, it's called Hell Knight. In Japan, it's called Dark Messiah. And it's, it's an adventure game, um, survival horror adventure game. And basically you go inside this you're inside like a, a subway tunnel that like stops all of a sudden and you know you're like the only one on the subway or something like that and like apparently the subway is like haunted and the subway stops so you have to you get out of the subway and you try to like find your way out 
And then you end up in like this creepy sewer system, um, which is, you know, sewers are already creepy as, as is. So as soon as you enter the sewer system, um, it's like naturally very dark, of course, and like dank and, and wet and full crap. You hear this noise behind you. It's best to play this game with headphones, by the way. And this only came out in like 96 or something like that. Um, so you hear like this noise in the background and then it's like this strange creature that starts chasing you out of nowhere. And you can hear your heartbeat, like your heartbeat uh, is the PS1 DualShock controller vibrating. And um, you feel the heartbeat like intensify every time he gets closer. So you hear it, you're like, get the f I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm running out of here. So, hey, JR is here, welcome on in. Takes notes if you ever decide to be a spider. Oh boy, hopped on when we're talking about spiders, yeah. Combo started because we were talking about survival horror games and the games I plan to play during Halloween. I'm gonna play a bunch of survival games. Yeah, so we're gonna play this Dark Messiah game for sure. Uh, cause I remember last Halloween, I actually was like, hey, I got a bunch of Halloween games we're gonna play on Halloween. And one of the games was Dark Messiah, and I was like, going through this, I'm like, no, stopping this, we're playing this next Halloween. This is a freaking scary game. Or we're gonna play it whenever I feel like playing, like, a survival horror game. I don't know. Whenever I feel like playing survival horror games, we're gonna play that shit. Okay. I'm almost lost. How do I get the fuck out of here? I have to go up here. Um, what? So many other good survival horror games. I mean, I have that game, um, Galarians for the PS1. I got that at my local game. I have all these games I picked up out of my local game store like ten, like five years ago, that I've never played yet to this day. Uh, one of them, one of them is Galarians on PS1. Which is another Resident Evil clone uh, that I haven't, like, started and finished yet. That'll probably be on the list for Halloween, for sure. Uh, there's definitely going to be Overblood 2. We're going to play Overblood 2. Uh, maybe Clock Tower, th or one of the Clock Tower games. I have all of them. I have the Japanese versions and the... One of the U.S. versions, which is the um, Clock Tower 3. Um... Hmm. Okay. Skeleton soldier. We need to find out where to go next. So, I guess we gotta go straight. Try corpse party? What's corpse party? I thought you said corpse killer at one point. Corpse killer is another game. We could probably play that on the Saturn. That's a shooter shmup. Corpse Party. I'm sorry, Night Trap ain't scary at all. People say that's a horror game. Maybe at the time it kind of like resembled B -mo horror movies, but Night Trap's not that scary. Uh, it's jank. I gotta say, for the Sega CD, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a very scary game. Dracula Unleash is pretty scary. Oh no, Ninja got timed out. Sorry, Ninja. Got timed out. You posted a link. You're not a VIP. Sorry, Ninja. Sorry, bud. You'll be back after these messages. We'll be right back. You earned 75,000 Cheerio points. I know you're not going to post one of those uh, wannabe famous links. Okay, so I think we have to go this way. This is the next spot we have to visit. Right, coming out here. Double tap. What's in here? Ooh, skeleton athlete. He was like running towards me. That's funny. Cotton clothes. Six String Canvas Podcast. Giving a gift sub to Purple Haze 32. Thank you so much for that gift sub to Purple Haze 32. Purple Haze 32 
enjoy those sweet emotes by Puppy Dog Montana and me doing the hype sign. Cheerio emotes you have to unlock yourself, though. I can't wait to get follower emotes in this in this chat. We'll have, uh, I gotta come up with a new follower emote when I get it. And then when they give us the, the animated emotes, we're definitely gonna put an APOC jam. That's gonna be, that's gonna be the new, the new emote. All up in your brain. <laughs> okay, so I think we have to go up here, right? Hit select. Okay, so we went that way. Where the hell are we supposed to go now? I feel like there's something else we're missing. We have to, do we go up here? Oh, wall jump. Okay, there's a wall kick area right here. I think we gotta go up here. Yeah, we go up here. Mm, okay, I got a heart. Heart's max increase. Anything else over here? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so... Alright, so I think I have to go to the top right quadrant. Right? Okay, I see a save point up ahead. I think we have to go that way. All right, so we got to do some more backtracking. So many backtracking you got to do in this game. All right, climb up here. Am I going the right way? Yes, got to keep going. And then I think there's a save point. Yeah, like right here, there's a save point. Using the save point, even though I saved there already. It's a PSP game that was ported to 3DS and Vita PC 2D horror game puzzle. Yeah, if you wanted to play Japanese horror game, that would be a good one. Uh, what is the game? I the g Corpse Party, okay, Corpse Party for the PSP. Oh, does it work on the Vita? If it works on the Vita, if it works on the Vita, if it works on the Vita, I could probably play it because I have a PS TV. My, my PlayStation TV actually um, is fitted to work um, with Japanese games. So I'll look into that corpse party. Hmm. Okay, so I can't go to the top right. Um, I can't go down there either. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I missing? This is like Super Metroid all over again. This is Meridia. This is the Meridia level all over again in Super Metroid, where I get lost and I don't know where to go. Uh, okay. Select. Anything up here? There's definitely something up here somewhere. Can I freeze those things? Am I supposed to use my DSS? Does that, like, create two fireball circle... What does that do? What the hell is that, dude? That does nothing. Most recent horror game you played was my Made of Scare. Enjoyed it. Story was better than expected. Medium on the scare level. Hmm. So that doesn't... Okay, so this doesn't do anything, these two things. You know, it's another good scary game, and it's technically not a scary game. Gone Home. Gone Home is a pretty scary game. Because it makes you think something scary is going to happen throughout the whole game, and nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. You wasted 15 bucks. That and uh, Dear Esther are pretty scary games. I mean, they're not they're not scary like survival horror games, but like the whole the whole story narrative around it is is pretty. It's like reading a horror novel. Scary. It's about, like, ghosts. Gone home. Toy Ray is bit. Yeah. It is big. It is... Waste of $15. I was just like, alright, it's just like Dear Esther. But Dear Esther was free at one point, but then they, they released the Landmark Edition, which, like, it's the same game with better graphics. 
And that's pretty much it. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? So if I go over here, this takes me out here. This thing, I can't go up. I can't, I can't go up here. Infinite ju jumping like the, the cheetah man. Hey, super camera, how you doing? Okay, I'm looking at the map. There's two things over there in the center. I'm not, that's not where I'm supposed to go. I visited everything, I think. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, the only... Yeah, the, the crates I can't break. What remains of Edith Fitch? If Finch was better style art for the game, yeah. There... There's something I'm missing right now. I, I can't I can't put my finger on it. Uh, if I break this down, where does this take me? It's gonna take me out of here. Thinking of all these scary games. Resident Evil's pretty scary. Snatcher's pretty scary for the Sega CD. It's a pretty scary game. I was saying before, Dracula Unleashed for Sega CD, that's a very scary game because there's just the, the atmosphere of like the, the vampires, the way they filmed some of the segments, it's very unsettling. It, it like, like there's a scene where like, you know, it, it's an FMV game, a guy that's trying to find Dracula and like stuff and whatnot. Um, but there's like a scene in the game where like, there's like escape mental patients that come out and kill you <laughs> in the game. And like, there's th one of them that like comes up to you, like he straight up says, I'm insane. And he just strangles you to death. Like the way like they got this actor to say, hey, I'm insane. And he just starts strangling you. That, that's, that creeped me out. It gave me nightmares, that part. That was a scary game. And then you, I think I think there's a scene in the game where he like opens a box and he finds a head and the head just looks so realistic. And yeah, Dracula Unleashed for the Sega CD. That's a that's a scary game. That that is something that'll give you nightmares. And I think they made a DVD version and a PC CD ROM version, but the Sega CD version is the one that will give you nightmares because of the crappy like video quality that you have to deal with the Sega CD. That's that's the that's the scary part. Um Okay, if I go straight up If I go straight up, I'm going to hit it I'm going to hit a dead end. I can't go that way. Um Is there any blips on the map that I'm missing? Okay, so there's this one area that I see on the map next to like this yellow thing that's black. Let me go check that out. I think that's what I'm missing. Found SOS on the SNES pretty scary. I have SOS on the set on the SNES. That is a hidden gem, by the way, because there's two games on the Super Nintendo that have that title. One of them is called SOS Sink or Swim. The Sink or Swim is supposed to be like the cutesy, like fun game. And then there's another game. There's another version called SOS, which is the one that you're talking about, Super Kmart. SOS. Um, it's a game by Vic Tokai. It's about a ship that like flips upside down. It's like the game. It's like the movie Poseidon Adventure. That's a scary game because you can actually watch people drown. And it, it's very unsettling. Yeah, they have to you have to escape uh, a sinking ship. It's very graphic. You you hear the dialogue from some of the people. It's like, fuck it, it's hopeless. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. And then they like they they they're just like so negative and it's depressing and it's unsettling and then yeah it's it's pretty bad okay so this little space here i need to break that i can't yeah it is that is a scary game i would say like that game is kind of like clock tower almost i think it's the same creators that made that game i think human entertainment made it made it um, which they, I think they put out, uh, Clock Tower. 
The Japanese version, I think, was Human Entertainment. Um, yeah, I have SOS on the Super Nintendo. That's that's a pretty that's pretty um, that's a pretty loaded game. Uh, I have the sequel on PlayStation. Uh, in Japan, it was called Septentrion. And uh, the Japanese sequel on the PS1 is called Septentrion, I think Out of the Blue or something like that. I tried to play this on, I played it on this channel uh, back in November, uh, and I just kept getting lost. It's over 100 bucks now, yeah. I, I When I got it, it was like 15. And it's only 15 because it's extremely hard to find uh, because of Sink or Swim. Um... That's a good game. I, I, you know, I'll play that on Halloween if you want me to. That's that's a that's a that's a loaded game for sure. And the best I could do in that game is to not save it, like, just save yourself and get out before you could. Yeah, it's it's very unsettling, but it has that same atmosphere from Clock Tower. It's very frightening. Okay, so I'm legit lost now. Like, if I backtrack, I need to find, like, all the areas are blue. All the areas are blue. There's one area on the bottom left that I said you need to freeze those enemies to climb up on. Maybe you don't have to freeze them. Maybe you could use something else. Let's try going that way. I use the charge. Can I use the kick on them? Mario 64 selling for one and a half million dollars? Yes, I heard about that. That is so ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Sealed copy. That had to be rigged. No joke. That had to be rigged, what they did there. That just seems so, like, iffy. Wait, can I, can I use... Yeah, so this... Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so this this area here, we can't explore. I legit can't climb up anything. Is this going to be, like, one of those things where you... I'm, like, legitimately stuck. I thought I visited everything. Extremely sketch. Yeah, very... A million dollars. That's like the copy of Super Mario Brothers that sold for like $100,000 sealed. And it was because it was sticker sealed. Which, you know, makes sense. It has like the, those little stickers that sealed the boxes. And that was $100,000. Um, like I understand like the Nintendo, things like the Nintendo PlayStation going up very high. Because it's a freaking prototype system right there. I've seen that system, like, firsthand. That was pretty cool. It's like a legit, like, Super Nintendo. It's like a Super Famicom that has... That supposedly could play PlayStation games, but they, they couldn't get the CD drive uh, to work properly. Ah, so where the hell am I supposed to go? So I hit select. Hmm. If I climb up, where does that take me? Is there something up here that I didn't wall kick to check out? There must be some area that we're missing out on. If I jump straight up here. If I come straight up, I thought there was... Oh, fuck you. If I come straight up... Yeah, there's nothing up here. Um, looking at my map. If I go down... Oh, fuck. I go in here. Uh, that's not where we want to go. If we go in here... What's in here? These thingies. these thingies. How do you break those things open? Do I have to use, like, a DSS or something? Card. Do I use Jupiter? Let's try activating our DSS. 
and like whipping this thing. Nope, that's not it. All right, let's try changing another DSS. Let's try Venus. No, that doesn't do shit. If I hit select DSS, try that thing. What does that do? Nothing? Two fireballs. That does absolutely nothing. All right. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is like this little patch of land on the top, in the like straight up. That that's the that that that's the only area that hasn't been explored. Um, I'm looking at the map carefully. Um, there's a small patch of land. That's where I got the cross. I'm like legit lost here. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Um, all right, I'm turning off my DSS. What is it? So R is just special. Let's see. Magic item. Tackle. Forward special. Makes players charge. This move double, no another jump kick boots. I seem to be missing stuff. Uh, I guess we'll save here. I mean, I don't think there's an area on the bottom right quadrant that I didn't check out yet. Seems like we explored that whole like patch of land there. And, and it's not like they gave us the the thing that breaks crates yet. Um, it's not like we could charge this up either. No. There must be something. I'm gonna have to climb up here. I okay. So I think the the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back through that clockwork area, the mechanical thing. I think there's something we might have missed over there. It's the only other thing I can think of. I don't know what else. I don't know where else we're supposed to go. <laughs> this makes almost no sense what we're supposed to do. Um, select. Okay, so hold on. This area here. Did we try exploring this? Oh, what's this? We didn't go this way yet. This area has not been explored yet. This area has not been explored. This part hasn't. Okay, this hasn't been explored yet. Okay, we didn't go this way yet. All right, we found it. Never mind. We're gone. We're gone. Found it. Heart. This area. But like, this is. Just oh wait, no, this is not a small patch of land. Well, wow, wow, this is. That's. Crazy. Uh, ectoplasms are gonna kill me. Double tap. Fuck Gorgon. So rigged. Thing is, too, about that Super Mario 64, how do you know it's a sealed copy of Super Mario 64? It could just be like. A repro box or something. Like, I don't know if, like, Wada goes in there and, like, verif- I mean, I'm sure they do. Or whoever graded it. Probably, like, verifies the authenticity. Oh, the hand. Talk to the hand. Because the, the other hand ain't listening. Oh, fuck. Hand. Oh, shit. Must find safety point. Nice. Found it. Oh, 
Michael C. Games, how you doing? Idle hands do the devil work. How you doing, Mike? Oh, come on in. Okay. Uh, there must be a safety save somewhere. Oh, teleporter. Where does that take me? That's going to take me over here. Paying 1.5 for the condition of some plastic. Like, it, it, is it acrylic or is it like plastic plastic? Like, it's it's got to be some thick plastic. Like, hard to break. Alright, so we came back here for a reason. I wanted to save my game. Uh, as a save point right here. Okay. And then we'll go back to the teleporter because we know where we're going now. I found where I'm supposed to go. And I assume this next area, we're going to get the ability to break crates. We're going to get the ability to break crates. Alright, yes. We go this way. armor. It's going to take us back. Yes. Okay, we're good. Alright, keep going. Alright, where are we? Underground waterway? Like in a sewer system or some shit. Creepy music. N64 games are pretty solid. I remember rage throwing games across the room when I was a kid and they survived. Yeah, they're in that thick plastic. It's like the same plastic that NES, like, controllers are made of. Like, if you throw your NES controller across the room and it breaks, like, glass and coffee tables and other, like, antique shit, like, the controller still survives. <laughs> but your wall doesn't. Dun, 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 dun. Keep going. <clears throat> Come on, keep going. What's next? Skeleton Knight. I'm gonna keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. And then we fall down here. Where does this take us? Oh! Hidden path. Ooh, level up. Nice. Bone Tower. Heart. Hmm. What are the bulls doing in a castle? I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what the hell is... The oh, we can't break this open yet. Shit. Okay, so... I assume... Okay, so we use the wall jump to get out of here. Da -da -da -da. So use the hands... So, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, there must be something I'm missing. I'm almost, I'm almost, I almost thought for a second there, did I just, like, come in here and there's absolutely no reason to be here yet because I'm missing something? I was uh, looking the, at the map. Okay, there's a little room here I didn't go in yet. What's in here? Chapel Tower didn't go in here yet. Oh, I have no... Fuck. Skeleton Knight. 25. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Flame Arrow. There we go. Keep going. Oh, shit. Hold on. Skeleton Knight. Yep. Ah. We got here. Uh, if we go straight, what happens now? There we go. Keep going. Go, 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 go. What's over here? Not a save point. Ah, crap. All right, hang on. Heart. Got a heart. 
We don't want that wristwatch. Yeah, ooh, something's up there. Okay, so if we do... What if we go... Okay, hold on. No, okay, hang on. <sighs> Double tap. Nope. <sighs> nope, can't make it. Alright, so I'll have to figure out another way. What's up here? Stained glass room. Save room. Nice. Save there. Okay, so I think we're going to come across a boss fight very soon. Let's uh, change our DSS. We want Venus. Inflicted like damage increases by 25%. Still don't know what that does. Uh, so we'll go back to Mercury. We'll do... We'll do Fire Whip. Bloody Sword. Ugh. Bloody Sword. Eee. Bloody Sword. Slide. Keep climbing up here. Okay, so we can't break those blocks yet. I think we're getting close. We, we gotta fight a boss, I think, to get up here. Okay, can't go that way. Keep going this way. Oh, crap. There we go. Go, 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 go. Bloody sword. What in this guy? Go, 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 go. Jump over him. Jump, 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 jump up. Something's over here. What is this? Ghoul? I played Castlevania Lords of Shadow. No, I have not. And I haven't for a reason, because I don't think um, that wasn't made by... That was made by, like, a different, like, team. Like, it wasn't made by Konami of Japan. It was made by, like, Konami of America or something like that. It's like, it wasn't, like, the same team that does Castlevania. Should, I should, doesn't mean I shouldn't give it a try. I should try it out one day, though. There's like two of them. I think I have a copy of it, though. I think I got it for free at one point on like my Xbox 360. That's like sitting there. Oh, what's that? Arm guard. What's an arm guard do? Item. Arm guard. Let's. Arm guard. Here we go. Climb up here. Jump over this guy. What is this? MP max increase. Nice. Okay, nothing in here. I hit select. Uh, so I can't... I think we gotta go this way. I think there's like a save point somewhere. We're gonna run into a boss. I know we are. We're definitely gonna hit a boss. Probably should save. All right, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run down here. Yeah, and slide out of here. Where's a boss fight? There's a boss somewhere? Yep, stay there. More of God of War style game from what I remember. Yeah, I've never played God of War, believe it or not. That's a game I still have not played yet. I remember back in when I was in college, 2007 or 6 or whatever, I said I was going to play God of War one of these days, and I never did. It's a game that's been sitting in my backlog forever. So I got to play God of War one day. It's going to be one. That's going to be a game I'm going to That's one of the games I still need to play. I got to play God of War. Um, I got to play Metro all the Metroids. I got to play Metroid Prime. That's a game I haven't played yet. Um, I need to play, um, ooh, Tower of Dolls. I recognize those characters from, uh, Chronicles. Need to play, um... 
I need to play Fallout 3. I still haven't played Fallout 3 yet. That's on the backlog. That's on. That's a big game on the on the backlog. I still have to play. Um. What else do I need to play? Oh, save point right here. I need to play. Um. I need to play all the Sonic Advances. I still have to play those. I have to play Pokemon. Um. I need to play every Final Fantasy game. I've only played four. Final Fantasy IV is the only fa Final Fantasy game I've played. Um, I've played Suicoden too. I'm actually grateful I got to finish that game. That was that was an interesting game. Fallout series, finish all of them against se except 76. I heard 76 is pretty bad. Um, like they, I think they rushed it or something. I still have to play Cyberpunk. Punk, was it 2077, 2079 or something like that? Um, because I heard so many good things about that game. If you play the PC version and not the PS4 version. Um, all right. That was just a dead end. I need to play, um, what other games I need to play? I need to play all the Zeldas. Like I played, I played up to uh, Link to the Past. That's about it. Um, I need to play Fire Emblem. That's another game I haven't played. I haven't played Fire Emblem yet, or Breath of Fire, Breath of the Wild, whatever it's called. I haven't played that game. Um, Oh, crap. I gotta play all the Castlevania GBA games. We're playing one right, one of them right now. Um, so, baby steps. We'll get there. I need to play... You know, I, I really want to play the Persona games. I'm gonna play all the Persona games. That's gonna take a while. So I, I gotta get into the series. Nice. 76 is okay these days if you have friends to play with. Uh. Oh, so it's like it's multiplayer co-op then. Okay. Kind of like kind of like um was that 7 days to die or left for dead or something like that. Da -na -na. Okay. Where the hell are we supposed to go? This is one of those games where you just get lost in. All right, come up here, come up here, come up here. I think we're coming up to a boss fight. It's a boss coming up. I'm missing these item drops on purpose. Boss? No boss, no. Bull. Nice. Oh, that's bull, literally. No. No. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Bull. Okay, heart's max increase. Come down. Can I post a link to the trailer for an interview coming up with Kieran? Uh, yeah, sure, actually. You're, yeah, you're VIP. You should be able to do that. Sabby coming in with the raid. Maestro, can you shout out Sabby for me? I'm cursed. I can't attack. That's what happened. Okay. Uh, use. Yo, this one guy I know. Thank you for the raid. Yo, thank you for the raid, Sabby. Appreciate it. I guess he's, I guess he fell asleep. Shout out to Sabby underscore G. Where are you up to tonight? Thank you for raiding. Just chatting, sweet. I like chatting. I guess we'll do antidote. No, we're we're cursed. Crap, we're cursed. We can't. Oh, we're fucked. I can't attack at all. I can't. Att oh wait, I'm back. Let's see here. Let me take a look here. You got these people. Muting it. Oh, it's a trailer. Oh, you know what? I think I saw that on uh, Twitter. You posted it to his wall. I saw that. 
It was the bit where he was talking about um, Macaulay Culkin, right? I saw that. Ding, ding. I'm about to die. I can't cure. I can't get rid of this poison status. Oh, look at this. I'm still alive somehow. Just sort of some cool stuff. Uh, you found? Played some Mario Party? Nice. Yeah, I saw that part where he was talking about Macaulay Culkin. Oh, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna save here with my poison status. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's talking about Macaulay Culkin. Is he, are you Kieran McCulkin? Remember that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that uh, that interview. Should should be an interesting one. Ooh, Hugh, you okay? Hugh, back off. This is my trophy to claim. Oh, what an asshole. Urgh. Hugh. All right, going in. I'm going to go fight. What the fuck is that shit? I'm going to fuck him up. What the fuck is this? Oh, can I attack your hand? 20. 20. 20. 23. 23. Oh, this is... Oh, he's like... He's like... He's like a tat... Attach this thing. Hang on. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could jump on top of him and, like, whip him or something like that. No, I can't. You have to, like, stay down here and just attack him. Love Castlevania. Love the NES version. Nice. Yeah, so we're playing Circle of the Moon tonight. Six string canvas with the gifts of the savvy. Appreciate it. Dead. Ah, oh, okay. There's got to be a way to kill that thing. Game over. There must be a way to kill that thing. All right. We're going to try again. I'm going to try using a different weapon this time. DSS. Uh, Whip of Thorns. I'm going to try the Whip of Thorns. Two fireballs circle you in defense. Uh, Yeah, Sabby G. Enjoy the sweet emotes. Hope you're doing great. Other than the Mario Party. Yeah, so let's see here. Inflicted damage increases by 20 for... Inflicted. Okay, let's try that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try the 25% increase here. I'm curious if that does anything. I think that eats up your power by a lot. And I'm going to watch this cutscene again. Ugh. <sighs> Mm. All right, we'll try this again. Try this guy. 26, 26. Ooh, 20, yeah. 26. Well, that seems to be doing more damage than the flame whip, for sure. Hey, there's like a blind spot you can go into. I th okay. De okay, so there's there's definitely like a blind spot you can hit. So yeah, you want to use that that trick. There's definitely a trick to this. All right, so I hit select, DSS. We'll try that. Do I have any items I can use? Item, heart, recover 10 hearts. Mind restore, recover 10 hearts. I'll no, we'll just do that. Um, do I have a stylish suit? Does that help? Strength 286, seven. We're wearing, while well, you'll be popular wearing this. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Wrist guard. Magic gauntlet. Uh, keep that alone. Arm guard. 
Um, wristband. Defense goes down. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this. We're gonna do this. I think we're gonna try this out. This should work. I think we f we could fight this guy. Hmm. You are you okay? I think so. All right, let's try this out. Fuck this boss up. Left. Ah. Fuck, this guy sucks. Okay, so you take damage from those skull looking things. Nothing you can do about this slide. You gotta slide as soon as they come out of the way, I think. Yep. <laughs> yeah, slide out of the way, just like that. Dead. Okay. There's definitely a way to do this. All right. So we gotta keep trying. So that's twenty. That takes twenty-six damage if I do that. Card. Uh, item. Stylish suit. Uh, arm. Miracle armband. Gauntlet. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Wristband. Eh, I gotta keep the defense up. Um, DSS. Yeah, do that. Back out. Save here. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna try this out again. I think we're close. That took 26 damage. Dun, 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 dun. These bells of victory. Of glory. Here we go. Let's see, do I have, what's my next experience? It's at 3,000 experience. We're gonna level up very soon. Our rate is at 49%, so we're 50 per, we're almost done with this game. We're halfway done with this. Maybe I should just level up right here before I attack this guy. Yeah, let me try leveling up. Thirty seventy-two. Two forty-two. We're gonna do this. I got this. In and out. There we go. What do we got? Eighteen twenty. Cotton room. 1488. Let's just go in and out again. Da, 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 da. Save here. We're gonna level up and then we're gonna go fight that boss. I think that's gonna help us out. That'll give us some good stats. Get that bear. Hyena. Five fifty four, almost there. All right, leave the room, come back, fall down. No. Oh. Wear bear, yeah. Wear bear, wear panther. Is that a hyena? Wear bear, yeah. Level up, that's what I was trying to do. Alright, what happens when you level up? Got 9,000 experience. Level 19. Alright, it's got some more strength there. Alright, let's go save our game. Let's go fuck up the boss. 
Let's try it now. We're a bear. Yeah, we're a bear. We're bears. Okay, here we go. Build a bear workshop. We're a bear workshop. Alright, here we go. Let's go fuck up the boss. Hugh, you okay? It's like, hmm. Hugh Baldwin's such a jackass. He's like, uh, it's like, it's my victory, not yours, asshole. Okay, here we go. Ooh, there we go. 30? Look at that. Doing 30 damage. Slide, slide. Nice. Alright, there. Do some damage. I'm like out of the way here. Okay, hang on. Item. Let's recover the hearts. Should just do that. Stay back. Oh shit, slide, slide, slide. No, oh, fuck. Ah, too far away. Yeah, just stay out here. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm dead. Slide. Oh, crap. Stay back. Oh, I think I know, like, where to, like, dodge out of the way and shit. Jump up. Oh, we f we almost fucked. Go back, go back, go back. Jump. Jump. Slide, slide. Here we go. Stand back, jump, jump, jump. Ooh, I got the, I think I got the pattern down. down I think oh look at that I got it <laughs> very sus king did it hey Lothos welcome on in we beat it yeah <laughs> we beat it but it's too bad we're gonna fucking die very soon we're gonna die very very fucking soon I gotta run out of here damn who asked you for help I couldn't just leave you could I is it gonna kill me don't think that you did. De you defeated it. Yeah, we beat it. <laughs> it was the power of that whip. Of course, there, I mean, I. What did I kill him with my hand? You know, my hands. I, you're supposed to use your hands. It's a baby's toy, Hugh. You could never beat me in training. Never once. But father named you the successor and gave you the hunter whip. Your parents and my father banished Dracula together, and those fond memories clouded his judgment. How much HP do I have? Zero. I gotta go save my game. Don't forget that. Okay, so I have to go save my game. Which means I can't fall down this fucking... I can't fall. I can't fall. Wow, that was clutch. I almost ran out of, like, health <laughs> on that fight. Okay, so there you go. Safety save there. I, I I literally had one. Oh, actually, hold on. 
Oh, if I hit start, I would have it would have said it. My bad, shit. I for I think it was one. That was literally one HP. The bar, like, okay, if I got hit, I probably would have died. Guaranteed. All right, so we killed that guy. Hitting that makes that blow up. That just inc wait. Okay, so does that mean that blow that blows up all those things in the like hitting that switch mean that that blows everything up? It does. Okay, so I know where to go next. All right, so I killed the boss. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, hit select. Where the fuck do I go now? Do I do I go this way? No. I'm just ignoring the dolls. Oh great, I'm cursed. <laughs> the marionettes cursed me again. Alright, if I keep going this way, where does that take me? Oh fuck. Oh, run over him. Fall down. Ooh! Crap, I missed something by going this way. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Alright, stay down. Okay. Let's, okay, so you fall down. Okay, I see where this takes me now. All right, I got lost for a second there. Okay, so now, where do we go now? Uh, select. So if that thing destroys all the things that were blocked before, I should be able to go wherever I need to go now. Uh, we go up here. Okay, stay up here. Oh crap, no, no, no. No, don't double jump. Oh, I could kill those things now, nice. Nice. Well, that's gonna be a tough one to get. Okay, brain floats. I definitely think you're supposed to freeze those guys somehow. I think you get like an attribute that freezes. That that just like according to my Metroidvania logic, that's exactly what you need to do. Okay. Stained glass area. Da, 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 da. Okay, can't go this way. Da, da, da. That's gonna take me to a save point. Okay, so we save here. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so I go back this way. Where do we go now? Marionette. Keep falling. Here we go. Fall down. Select. Where are we doing? Um. Hmm. There's a little patch of area over here on the left we didn't look at. Eh. Okay, so according to this map, I think we're in the right direction. Zorak reminded me that I finished Plock. Thank you, Zorak, for reminding me that I finished Plock on the Super Nintendo. That was a really hard game. Let me kill this guy. There you go, 46 fall down. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, yeah. I, I'm convinced you need to freeze those things to get up there. Uh, ghoul? Hmm. Slide out of here. Gabagool. Gabagool. Let's see. Where are we supposed to go? Alright, hit select. Anything I'm missing? Let's try going straight. You're hoarding channel point? You're not hoard Oh yeah. You don't want you don't need the 75,000. That's true. Okay, so those green things are all gone. Under Oh yeah, this music. This is cat jam music right here. Aquarius. I love this music. This is some cat jams right here. What's that do? Moves the conveyor belt. Wait. Yeah, cat jams, some apoc jams. Jam them any way possible. I love this music. This is great. Sweet. Okay, so I have to hit the switch over. That's kind of lame. Okay, so I gotta chase. I gotta chase this thing. Does the conveyor come back? The conveyor comes out once. All right, so you gotta hit the button every time. Ah, uh, great. Run, 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 run. This thing comes out of the way, and he. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, damn it. All right, I'll do this again. Go this way. Hit it. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat that brain float. Nice. Okay. Heart max, max increase. There's nothing up there. Okay, perfect. Nothing in there. Okay, so we found that heart max increase. That was pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. All right, what's down here? Some bird men. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shit. Yeah, imp. Got an imp. Something up here. Ooh, something's up there. <laughs> Get back up, back, back up, back up, back up. Nice. There's something up there. Should be able to get that some. That's gonna be a tricky. That's gonna be tricky to get. No, nope. I got without doing like some sort of triple jump. Oh. Save point. What is this? Yay! Save point. Save in here. Dun, 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 dun. I love this music. This is good. Let's see what happens if we go straight down. Takes us into another room. Praying Mant Death Manus. There we go. All right, break that block down. Keep going. Am I cursed? Nope, not cursed. King Moth. King of the Moths. There we go. King Moth. There we go. And where's that dude? This takes us over here. Wow. This is like so much to explore. Spectre. Spectre. All right, what happens if we go in here? Got some more hands. Evil hand. No, killer, killer bees. All right, I'm poisoned. All right, let's heal that. Po let's heal that poison. Antidote. Here we go. Go that way. Slide in here. Oh fuck. Evil hand. Ah. Come on, go down. Yeah, there we go. 
There you go. We got you. There we go. Should be able to slide in here. Come on. 96, 96. Go this way. Where does this take us? Oh, what is that? HP max increase. Oh, that refills. Nice. Jump over him. Ugh. I'm poisoned. Slide. Oh, crap. Slide, slide. Ooh, slide, slide. Oh, run, 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 run. Slide, slide. Slide. Slide, slide. Out we go. Okay. Uh, item. Antidote. There you go. They keep coming out. Ugh. Okay, keep going. Where does this take us? More, more killer bees. Right, I'm running out of the way. Oh, fuck. Get right out of there. Slide. What's over here? Uh, item. Antidote. Get out of there. Fuck. <laughs> killer bee just, like, poisoned me again. All right, run out of the way. Run, 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 slide. What's on the other end of this? I'm dead. I'm literally fucking dead. What's on the other side? Item. Antidote. Use it. Perfect. I have, like, no HP left over. Get out of the way. It's like curses and poisons down here. That's a poison mushroom right there. Nice. All right, hit select. Are we near any save items? What? Oh, that's a falling bridge. My Conid. That's what that is. Okay. All right, if I come out of here and just run the fuck out of here, I should be able to slide in there like that. Perfect. Yep. Uh. Oh, I died. Crap. Okay. I died. Game over. Damn. Continue. Uh, let's see here. Select. Do, 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 do. Uh. Okay, so... Was I just here? I was here. Okay, I was here. All right, so back up. So go this way. Praying man, death mantis. Break through there. Aha! Just yeah, just pile drive right through there. That's how you do this. Oh. Cockatrice card. What's a cockatrice card do? The cockatrice is said to have ability to turn things into stone. Has the power of the stone. Okay, so if we do... DS. What does that do? Does absolutely nothing. Which is the freeze for most of the br oh oh that, that freezes the brains shit okay that's a good thing I have that then that's a good thing I have that um DSS so I'm neat I I do need that then okay Okay, I, I know where I am now, sort of. Okay, I need to find a save point already. Uh, if I go up... And go in here... Did we go this way yet? No, we haven't. 
If I take this out, boom, come out that way. Nice. Where does this take me? MP max increase. Okay, so that didn't help me out at all going this way. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die going this way. Uh, I know there's a health increase somewhere. I'm gonna die. Dead. Uh, all right. I think it's a good place to stop for the night. <laughs> I'm saving there. I did a safety save. All right. So that's a good place. That's a good stopping point for now. All right. So we'll come back to this game another night. Um, tomorrow night, I was going to play uh, Power Slave for the sake of Saturn because it is Metroidvania week. I wanted to play like a different Metroidvania game, um, a different like every other night, uh, like every night. Um, so Power Slave for the sake of Saturn is supposed to be another Metroidvania. But uh, I did want to continue playing this game because I'm having a good time playing this. So I it's up in the air. I might I might come back to this game tomorrow or just play Power Slave another night or something like that. It's it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, I I might just play this game again. I have I had such a good time. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but there'll definitely be another stream tomorrow tomorrow night same time. Uh, get on my socials 9:30 p.m. Eastern. We'll stream again tomorrow. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. I appreciate it. It was great. Uh, thank you for the raid, Savvy G, uh, and everybody else for hosting. Section Canvas for all the uh, the gift subs, uh, new follows and stuff. You guys are all awesome. Appreciate you all hanging out. It's all good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, thanks everybody, for coming out. Appreciate it. Um, let's go raid somebody. Let's see who's online. Let's see who's up uh, for a raid, a good old raid from me. And uh, channel. Who's on? Let's look at the roster. Um, buh, 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 buh. um, hmm. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see who's online. I see a couple people. Let's read, uh, let's read Tragic on Twitch. She's playing Final Fantasy. Let's go say hi to her. Um, where's my Streamlabs thing? Right here. Read tragic on twitch I haven't read her in a while she's been all, it's been a while since she streamed uh, i think she was um she's back she's back from streaming so we'll go raid tragic uh so we'll go say hi to her um here's a raid message if you're sub to the channel you can use that emote if not toss her a bunch of tomb raid emotes let her know there's a raid going on uh great streamer uh go drop her a follow and uh appreciate it we'll go say hi to tragic and uh i'll see you guys all tomorrow night it's uh, a little late, so I'm just going to probably uh, stick around for a bit. Maybe have like a midnight snack and then go to bed. So thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. And uh, get on my socials. Load up. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Discord, uh, YouTube. New here, like what you see, definitely tap that follow button on uh, Twitch and hit that notification bell when you know when I go live tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And uh, yeah, we'll probably come back to this game for sure. Um, and, uh, Sega Saturn Day will be this Saturday. Should be fun. All right, so we'll go raid Tragic. Everybody have a great night, and, uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Great -bye. Bye. time! Oh.